go. Cup chop. Ape. All right, ape. Go. Venus. Go, Venus. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry. Okay. All right. <laughs> With the sky above as their witness, the party would begin with departing the mirror of dead men, successfully and safely making it to Thornhold Keep. A location so far has managed to withstand the ire of monsters. I know she is. Um, monsters that could be heard so f hey, fuck. Hey. Monsters that could be heard all across the land, for darkness had overtaken the day through the eclipse. It had faded into the night like day, the war being fought in the heavens painted bright. The ground shook, the very earth buckling under the weight of the conflict above. Chunks of earth and stone were torn away, raining down upon the world in form of fiery meteors. The sky took on a dark and twisted appearance. The clouds became dark and forebo for foreboding, with lightning bolts flashing across the sky like an earth unearthly beacon. Suddenly, a massive explosion lit up the sky, a brilliant burst of energy that seemed to shake the very foundation of the world scarring the night sky it was left unstable for the very stars themselves had shifted in their positions the moon waxing and waning in a very un in an unnatural way a sight to behold to it the end of an era the unreligious unreligious population of thornhold keep regarded the spectacle of the sky in a mix of fear and wariness the party would discover as as entering it they were witness to a business as usual approach even if it was rather forced leaving it behind the party chose to instead indulge in the warm drinks offered by the tavern that would serve their place those that would serve as their place for rest uh, of rest for the night while waiting for the forges to be kicked back on during the day uh, so that they could afford to offload their weightly cargo understandable Thus, when the morning came, their long-haul efforts paid off, resulting in not only a gigantic load of new gear for the party, but a metric ton of coins and the ability to traverse directly to Waterdeep via Gallium. Clear clearly, adventuring days pays off. Regardless of their of the number uh, of numerous occasions that certain death was almost had, departing the keep their ne next destination would be shadowed by the looming tower of a colossal tree of creation that could be seen hundreds upon thousands of miles away as they traversed the waves. Time once Einstein said. once said that <laughs> Stephen Hawking once said that Einstein once said, God does not play dice with the universe. To which the theorist responded, God does play dice with the universe. All of the evidence points to him being an invertebrate gambler who throws the dice on every possible occasion. Thus, it seems Einstein was doubly wrong when he said, God does not play dice. Not only does God definitely play dice, but he sometimes confuses us by throwing them where they can't be seen. Stephen Hawking, Does God Play Dice, 1999. And time. What? <laughs> I love that. <laughs> That oh, was, I get it. <laughs> I came in the tail end of the quote after ordering Chinese food. That sounded like the longest quote in my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> me, me thinking for two seconds that time was like some unknown philosopher I'd never heard of. And then I <laughs> <laughs> it was time to eat a fucking thing, guys. Like that. <laughs> Thanks, time. Very good joke. Funny. Very funny. I love it. Funny. Time. Very cool. Very cool time. Very funny. Ah! And now, cutting back to the events of the party, I have a little thing planned. As you guys, because it'll take a it'll take a day or two to kind of get all the way over to Waterdeep from where you guys are right now. Of course, that doesn't come without proper entertainment. As I imagine, the party has kind of come together to either chat or just. Work around what work around what has been going. So I have a, I have a little game for you guys to, to play. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh. it's exactly like it's exactly like heads up. I think that's what it's called. Where it's us. Yes. All the players they have like all the players they have like um like a like a little 
like a like a piece of paper ta taped to their forehead and the piece of paper has a word on it and they're trying to you know get the player to the the kid the player to figure it out what it is without explicitly telling them so what i'll be doing is just i already wrote up all the words except the one that your character has and i'm just going to send them to all your guys dms right now if i miss anyone you know huh? <laughs> okay I know what mine is. Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah. Oh. There we go. Oh, I actually don't know what mine is. Exactly. Okay, I think it's a, it's, fu it's a funny... Yeah, it's like a little party game. Okay. No. <laughs> uh, I think this could be a, just a fun little thing. Mm -hmm. Can you explain it? Yeah. So, like, you know, so like I mentioned, it's like I... Like I put in like a, I'll use your DMs for an example. And I put um, so like the corresponding word, yeah, oh, that's all good. Like the corresponding words next to the next to the person's name is what's on their forehead, and you're trying to get that person to guess what their word is without explicitly saying the word, you know. So it's like um, good example. Say say um. <sighs> Like say your mom is playing, and then her word is penis. You're trying to get her Jesus to say Christ. the word penis without explicitly saying penis yourself. Does that make sense? Yes. Uh, okay, perfect. Have at like, it. It's like, it's like show rate. <laughs> should, uh, should we do initiative order? If, I if think you want. Combat yeah. order. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to drop a token and then... Because there's a lot of people here. It's going to get fucking wild. <laughs> Yo, Ooh, a there's a lot of people here today. I might drop my token. Don't worry about big talking. I'm just gonna roll that. But they're like uh... right there. Ah. 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 I am rampaging the countryside. What is happening? <laughs> this shit, big <laughs> We're going in order. Yes. We're, we're guessing in order. But who's the person um, we're guessing for? Because uh, in Heads Up, you there's like one Every, person that everybody guesses. That's tonight. everyone. I, I think you just get to choose. Oh, I think, you, I think if we all choose, if we all choose, then it should be fine. Because well like, theor oh, no, theoretically, no. if Sunny chooses like you, I can't also choose you because you'll have guessed your words. So that'll be crossed off the list. Yeah. Oh. So in practice, we don't really need a bunch of like all different people. We can just not select people who have already gone. Yeah, because you already know what your word is. Because it's like how I imagine is like you know Schmuel's at the top of the order, so you guys are all trying to get Schmuel to figure out his word first, and then Merlith, and then so on and so forth. Okay. Yeah. All right, Schmuel. Uh, Taki looks at Schmuel. She looks at the word. I have no idea what that is. Canonically, she doesn't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't know what it is. She... Does anyone I'm know? Kidding me. I'm, I'm, dude, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't know what that is. It's like, I don't think they have that. I don't think they have. I don't think they have that. I don't think they do either, right? <laughs> uh, Jolin, you know what it is? Okay. Jor Jordan's like, you know what's the question? What are you guys doing? Uh, points at Smeevil's head. Uh, I, I think we're doing charades. Yeah, I, I just, I got... Smeevil's head, yeah, why? Uh, what is that? What is that? It's... Oh, man, this is so, like... <laughs> you, have to, you have to guess the word, you're, Smeevil. You're, you're not allowed to say it explicitly. You can't say the word. But... Yeah. You can't explain it without... Use... I, I don't just, know what just you're going to do. Just do charades. Just use yeah. motion. You have to explain Jor it. Wow. No, uh, you have to use it's... words to explain what it is. So uh oh, gotcha. Fabio, Fabio, oh uh, boy. So you know, like you know, a flour tortilla. Fabio, you are. What is a tortilla? You, your microphone is on. You don't know a tortilla? Or both of them. Jolin, in my area, we don't really eat this tortilla. I don't know where it fucking comes from. Taco. It's just fucking. No, you're close though. Imagine that, but like a soft shell tortilla, and like wrapped with a bunch of shit in the middle of it. Burrito. Hey. Oh, yeah. Burrito. What the fuck's a burrito? <laughs> I'm a burrito. <laughs> What's a burrito? <laughs> yeah, you were a burrito. <laughs> All right. It's... Who came up with this? <laughs> All right. It's Marilyn. I think I see these before. Uh, 
They're like the size of Shmeevils, they have horns, elongated mouth. Oh, yeah. Scales? Kinda. Uh like a kobold? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Kobold. I don't feel like we're doing this right. <laughs> I got an idea. What who's next? Who's next? Chase does. <laughs> Evil rubs his hands. <laughs> Why is he looking at me like that? I didn't like that. <laughs> wait, I know. Wait, oh. Schmeevil, come here. Come into my arms. Okay. Wait, like, I just, runs over. I want to say. And I look I at Chase. Before, I look her dead in the eye. Wait, wait. What? Can he wait? Can he wait? Before we start, I want to say the little post it note that the word is written on is is like punctured on her horn. A little dub horn. <laughs> Okay. Just, just grab Schmeevil and then rocks him okay. back and forth in his arms. I want milk. <laughs> You'll get it. <laughs> I want That's milk. Schmeevil normally. Oh. <laughs> God damn it. This isn't working, Schmeevil. <laughs> no, no, no. Keep playing. Keep playing. All right. No, gotta... no, no. No, you're no. being weird about it now. <laughs> no. All right. Now you got to change Wait. me. Hold on, wait. No, oh no, that's not happening. Taki, <laughs> Taki, you you try. Here, uh, I, give I, Shme I just like hand Shmeevil over uh, and I walk away and I like probably grab. I like, put Shmeevil. Me. I put Shmeevil down. I do pick uh, up Shace and rock her. Like you know, I just rock her. What are you? What are you doing? It's, it, you me up? it's what humans do. What what what, oh, what do we call you? Uh uh. Taki, get on all fours uh, right now. No, I'm not getting all, going on all fours. Marilith, get on all fours. I, I, I she got does it. So. She does <laughs> so. All right. <laughs> now, 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 Winnie or something, whatever they do. Uh. <laughs> Wait, hold on. What, are, what am I doing? I just snap my fingers and I turn into a pony. <laughs> Wait, what am I doing? No, like I turn into the same thing but a smaller version. Yeah, if if it's if it's I just, I just look up. If it's daddy pony, what what's that? It points at the smaller male lift. Uh, uh... Uh, a smaller pony. But a but tiny pony. Keep going. A little pony, my little pony. No, it's it's like a kid but smaller. Um, a small cat. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, you know, just to give you a clue as to how to navigate this, think about what baby deer do. What do baby uh, deer do? All right, mm. suckle on those nipples. <laughs> wait, 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 no, 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 no. She like um, she like bends her legs, like you know, in that kind of like deer fashion. You know, the kind of, yeah. you know, you know how they sit, like you know, yeah. Like, yeah. And kind of like a mix of right underneath Booker, like he's like a bush or something. Oh, a baby! She pokes her heads out. Oh, that, yeah! <laughs> there you go, Yay. baby. Great! <laughs> I didn't know what you guys went on about. Puts down, puts down, <laughs> uh, just turns back to normal. <laughs> uh, Marilyn, can you turn into that? Technically, that counts, Ooh. right? <laughs> well, I mean, it's not explicitly saying anything. I, I guess, I guess I can do that. All right, yeah, I'll, so... I'll, I'll, I'll hold you. I guess I'll say that, like, uh, that Izzy, by by turning into one, you've confirmed that Meryl Pheasant Point had that creature at some point. <laughs> ah. Well, I mean, yeah. I <laughs> I pick her up, show it to Booker. A little, a little tiny, a little Booker, tiny dog. It's hip hopping. It, it makes you itchy, and you have to scratch it, or else it will suck your blood out and get you all itchy all over, and make gross black dots in your in in your in your fur. Mm, I hate fleas. There we go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Please>. <laughs> Wait, Marilith, I, you can turn into a flea and hide in my beard. <laughs> I, I just realized that. Or I can turn into lice and hide in your hair. 
Gross. Gross. <laughs> All right. Or we could both turn into fleas and hide and chase this hair. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I guess it's my turn. Um, you're annoying and smelly and stupid and ugly. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate that. Squid. Goblins. Gob Goblin? What? Goblin loves face. goblins. Love all of those qualities. Uh, you got fat ass. Uh. You got long, skinny legs, uh, and your eyes are far apart. <laughs> oh, you were talking to me. You were talking about talking. Oh, I forgot you were. I forgot you were racist. I forgot that entirely. Am I buck? I thought you were. T I thought you were talking to me. Wait, hold on. I like turn towards Taki. Look at the, the points at the sticky note. Am I a bug? Oh my God, I'm, I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm like, I like, I look at myself, and I look at you, and I'm like, you racist fuck. I don't know! <laughs> the only thing the that most is racist is thing that you have ever <laughs> said. In fact, Let's... I am done playing. <laughs> <laughs> That's, uh, that is the what? end of what? my night. Goodbye. <laughs> Nay. Oh, a horse? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, listen, they said goblin. I was like, the only thing that relates to goblin is a bugbear, right? We're, we're learning that a lot is, about people today. That is not what they meant. You're a human. I see what's going on. <laughs> I see what's happening. Hey. <laughs> probably wasn't the best way to pass time. Got a problem with goblins, I guess. I don't! <laughs> Let let the let the true feelings come out. <laughs> Jolin, your turn. Jolin, he's like gone. He's just gone. He's, he's just, just not gone here. for a like little bit now. <laughs> yeah, he's just, he's just straight up. Fuck <laughs> you, want banana, like, like, Jolin. And he wasn't all fuck with the vibes. So he's kinda just like, <laughs> Jolin, you want banana? Also for us, uh, you're a mother. You want banana? <laughs> uh, Taki feels bad about being racist accidentally <laughs> with six charisma. <laughs> accidentally turned into the most racist person in the entire party. Yeah, six charisma. <laughs> oh no. Goblin. Oh, no. Okay. Like, Goblin. How, how did you get a negative war? She oh, has six cultures! <laughs> what if her like what if her word was racist and then like so then Booker would have gone, you're racist. Ding 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 here. Good night, Buggo. Good night, Buggo. Good night, Buggo. Hi. Uh oh, my God. oh well at least it's fun for a bit. Uh. <laughs> Yes. So, like, so you guys are about like a uh, you guys are about like just one more day away from Waterdeep. Isn't that exciting? Hi. I remember I at the very it. beginning of this road, I told you all that you could have things that you could work on in order to improve. So, I hope Yay. you kept. I hope you remembered what you wanted to do because once you're at Waterdeep, I'll be going over that and we'll be yeah. updating it as it comes along. Uh, I certainly don't fucking remember. Hockey, I think that's like it's hockey fair still to practicing with Jolin with uh, charisma while Jolin learning how to use a shield. <laughs> that's it. What I know. Oh. Two days? We're on a boat, right? Uh huh. Yeah, I you know, it was one more day. Big galleon. I'm a dr yeah, it's like. Instead of like, I don't know, like fucking. Instead of like a whole last another week, you guys are just taking It's just like a day and a half trip. Hooray! <laughs> I do not like this boat. I want to get off and eat grass. <laughs> <laughs> it's very squishy. Mm -hmm. I cannot get a good footing on it. Mm. It's like when I was first born, my legs were all wobbly and I couldn't walk right. Exactly. <laughs> Oh, you were muted but... for some oh, no. reason. I don't know. Anyways, uh, you do you think the water is bad? Have you ever tried an airship before? 
Oh. <laughs> I have <laughs> seen I have seen a Pegasus before, and this I do not know how they do it. <laughs> they, huh? they what? A Pegasus with wings. They lift themselves off the ground and fly away. Uh. I mean, technically, you uh, you can be a Pegasus too, right? Oh yeah, I can have wings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or you can get, or you can give people wings from what I can see. Yeah. Uh. So, <clears throat> real quick, hey Booker. I've obtained Chinese food. What do you want from me? I just got it. I just got it. <laughs> what do you want? What do you want? Chinese want? Food. So, like, you know that chicken that's been on top of your head this whole time? Have you done anything about it? Like, no. <laughs> it's been, it's been, I'm like, yeah, like I'm, I've probably gone, like, top deck after that incredibly racist <laughs> comment was said to me. Uh, and I am currently just, like, looking at, like, everyone do their thing. Could I approach him about the fucking chicken? Go ahead. I'm just, I'm just standing there with a huge chicken on my head, looking over like the entire crew. Alright. Mm. Evil comes over. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Scotland. What? Points at the chicken. Why? Yeah. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> roll, me, roll me a real quick history check. Hmm. Where have I seen that chicken before? Uh, history. Uh, spade. Nine. So, Nine. it's not really, it was a fucking five to me. It's not that hard. So you remember, so you kind of look at it. Oh, Nord, it's, it's a fucking, it's a big chicken, you know? But what's more important is the little purple amulet that's hanging around its neck. You've seen that before. It, it was the same kind of amulet that, um, the chicken that was following Nugget around had. When you guys when you guys reunited oh? with Booker after he teleported away. Hmm. It's one of Nugget's chickens. Ugh, Nugget. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> he cringes. Uh, it like visibly cringes. Uh. Mm. Well, what's it doing here? Oh. What's it in? <clears throat> what the fuck He's just chilling. <laughs> Been chilling. Hmm. I wonder, and Shmeevil's gonna. Oh, sorry. Um, he is going to use uh sending. He's gonna send a message to uh to to Nugget out there in the world. It's gonna be gonna like um. We've okay. kidnapped your chicken. If you want him back, you have to pay us the price. <laughs> <laughs> we, we have your chicken. Uh, is it Waterdeep we're going to? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We want you. Is that all he said? <laughs> we want you. <laughs> we have your chicken. Meet us in water deep. We want you. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> I'm sure he'll. I, I... Shmeevil, you're demented. I just want you to know that. <laughs> That's pretty mean. But not as mean as what Taki said. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad we're friends, Shmeevil. That shit was fucked up. <laughs> I'm gonna say, oh. With that, Nugget appears, the amulet on the chicken's chest glows, and Nugget appears beside the both of you. Oh, it's him! Ah, oh, what happened? Whoa, Nugget! Go away. Oh, I finally made it! No, Hi, where... go back. Go back. I, li I like take I like take the chicken's amulet and I press it up against his forehead. Go, go back. <laughs> Wait, no, I've been looking for you. No, hey. go back in. <laughs> Why? Wait. No. Wait, Master go back in. Master no. Wait. Wait. No, I'm not gonna. Uh, stop. 
What? <laughs> what do you want? He's standing there, and you're like pressing it against his forehead. <laughs> what do you want? I was looking. I needed to make sure you guys were okay. They, you're like, so late. Happen. I'm not paying for you to be on this boat. You can't just what? be here. <laughs> you guys are going to. Ah, stop. This is illegal. <laughs> I'll pay you. <laughs> Don't pay me, pay the captain. I don't want you I don't want you to get me in trouble or you in trouble. You're not gonna get me fined. You're going to go off the boat after you say whatever you're gonna say, you're gonna leave the boat, you're gonna exit the craft, you're gonna jump off the boat. Look at it. Look at it. Do you miss the captain cares when it's the end of the world? <laughs> I like I like look up at him. Can I look at the dirty, crusty captain? <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's like, he's fucking zoinked out of his mind. Like, <laughs> there's weird, like, there's, he's like, there's like weird multicolored smoke rising from his pipe. You're sure his peoples aren't looking in the same direction? He's mumbling something in an incoherent language. He's zooted, dude. He doesn't give a shit. I don't trust him driving this ship. I like him. He's the opposite of comfortable. Captain. There's a helmsman oh, okay. at the wheel. <laughs> oh, who's the helmsman? Is he okay? Or is the he also like, the, this is odd. The helmsman is a scrappy young lad, though, for almost the entire time, unless, like, you know, to steer the boat. His eyes have been looking directly towards the tree over the horizon in the ocean. I'm like, well, he should be paying attention to the, to the ocean, but that's fine. I don't care. Uh, you know what? I don't give a shit. Take, do whatever you want. <laughs> I just... Nugget like looks down at the baby for a second. He's like he starts like looking through his bag as he's speaking. I I heard you were going to water to water deep. Were you gonna report back to me about any any new experiences? Oh yeah. Uh, no. Um that as she points at a big <laughs> fucked off tree in the distance. Yeah, other than yeah, anything other than the fact that the gods practically declared war on us? Uh no, none too much. Just that Who are you to be again? honest. But isn't that ex Hi, I'm Nugget. <laughs> <laughs> you need to work on everything about how you carry a conversation. What? Hi, I love him so much. Yeah, uh, I'm guessing. I love that Booker hates him. <laughs> um, Nugget. Uh, yes. The, uh, uh, any Besides the the gods declaring war uh, across the world, uh, there is. I know, the, isn't it exciting? No, it's not. The oh. the mayor of the dead man is uh, riddled with the uh, the slime creatures. So I think that's uh, that's the point of discovery that we have, and also that they are targeting uh, religious folks such as churches and other mm. <sighs> other gods' church. Mm. They're targeting churches. Yeah. Yes. Or, or any just religious figures in that matter. Oh. The gods' followers. Mm-hmm. Pretty Sish much the oh, source of power. Sish the tippy taps up the stairs. Oh, not that! <laughs> <laughs> His eyes, like, sparkle as he pulls out, like, a little box. He gives a little oh. box. He, like, oh, he, like, opens the little box and holds it over to Schmeevel. It looks like a ring pop. <laughs> <laughs> he grabs the ring pop. <laughs> what is that? Is that the ah. ring well, well, uh, you were taking, uh, you were taking a baby on your adventures, and so I wanted to make sure that uh, the baby would be safe. He, he like, pats, he pats the baby. She's, he's, he's, she's completely person. safe. Yeah. You could trust us. As <laughs> Ozai is literally swaying. <laughs> uh, yeah, she... <laughs> yeah, she is... Perfectly fine. It... Jesus Very good head. Or head. What? Also, I drank his. I, I only have one hand. Juice again. <laughs> yeah, so he's drank his funny adult juice. Huh? <laughs> but Sometimes when he's not looking, I take a little nippy off the top of his drink. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the wind nippy. <laughs> Nugget. It Nugget. tastes good. Yeah. What is it? Pets, Chester. What is it? Don't worry. Everything will be okay. I'll keep you protected. Uh, thanks. Uh -huh. I, well, I, first off, that's not true at all. I don't believe again? that whatsoever. <laughs> oh, Mr. Booker, you don't believe in me? Hey! I don't, I don't think I could call his name. What was his name? 
Hey, uh, just, Taki. Like, whispering his face, though. Taki's gonna like be side by side with Nugget, just like pull him down, just give him like a Nugget. Hey, he's like a smart one. He gives you like that weird mm. stone thing. I don't know what it does, but fine. He legit teleported here, so give him a chance. You you called me a gro I'm, you called me a oh, I'm not I'm not trying to knock him too hard. I'm just like I don't know. Yeah. Um. By the way, sorry about that. I don't, I don't I, think anyone. Can keep anyone safe from what I'm looking at currently. <laughs> I like look over at the tree. But at the very least he's offering some some sort of protection, at least. Like let them go. We need all the help we yeah. can do. Yeah. Thank you, Nugget. Yeah. Mm, oh, Nugget. Question. Yo you're, you're you're a smart lad. Um takes yes. out the sword. <laughs> undoes the <laughs> yeah. katana. Do you Fix this? It seems like uh, it needs like a magic user to fix this shit. Uh, sure. I can try my best. Oh, gives it to him. The, uh, the heirloom katana. The heirloom. You're 100% folded Japanese steel. <laughs> oh! Whoa! But it's rusted. <laughs> but it's rusted as all hell. Rusty. Taki. <laughs> hey. Taki. Yes. You're cool. Thanks. Sorry hey. about the hmm. the racist no, comment. I didn't, I didn't take it. I didn't take it no, seriously. No, You're still, fine. I, I I must apologize. It was like it's just like a slip of a tongue. It's like, oh fuck, you know. Nah, I don't, I'm, I'm, nah, nah, I don't care. Hmm. We don't talk about it. Ozai. Like, You're there's only there's, a, there's only one racist. That's the that's that's Shasta. She's the only racist. She's horse racist. <laughs> Is it really? <laughs> Is it? Is it racist, racist or just specious? It's, not, it's only it's racist a... if it's made true, and all I say is true. Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ, that's <laughs> fucked up. Oh, you got right? <laughs> Her parents were fucked. I actually think they were worse than us. Yeah. Who, uh, who knows? Much worse than us. <laughs> also. Here he pulls out. He gets like a little ring. He gets a he gets he gives a ring pop to Schmeevil and a little like ring that fits perfectly on Shasta's horn to Shasta. Oh. Like he holds it to her. He goes like, and he's like, as he's a, like a looking over the sword that you gave him, he kind of like he look he starts to he, even he still has a smile on his face, but like his eyebrows look a little sad. He goes, "Oh man, I don't think I can fix this, but oh. my master, I know my master. He can oh. fix anything." Oh. Well, have you heard of him? He's he's the, my master. He's the greatest. Oh, is it uh, more than more than fa uh, more than more more than, more? more than, what's his name again? Yes. Oh yeah, more than kind of. There we master go. Master more Where is he? Uh -huh. If we can. Uh. Well, my master's you know just doing his research. I don't question him. And he makes. A sword? I don't like. I need the sword fixed yeah, if we're gonna. Yeah, is he in water deep that we're heading, or is he yes. like? Oh, that's where. That's where. I, that's where I. That's where I live. I, oh brother? shit! That's convenient. Looks at the group. <laughs> yeah. And since you're heading there, maybe. Hmm. He's like looking over everyone. He goes, "Are you guys registered?" Yep. What's a register? Huh? <laughs> I think we need. Uh, I think we need to be registered. No, no, Those they're fine. undocumented citizens right here. I, I'm an undocumented I, I mean, citizen. Like, I'm a unicorn. <laughs> we can, we can, we can work it out later. I think, I think we'll be fine doing that on our own. Mm -hmm. My top priority is getting to Merilis tribe. I mean, they're still, they're still at. Uh, oh yeah, it's in battle and whatnot. Uh, Dyke of Ford takes out the map. Mm. Right? Or the Misty Forest. Which one was it? Mm. Sorry, could you repeat that? Uh, Misty Forest. Oh, the Misty Forest. We're going to the Misty Forest. Yeah. Are you going to the Misty Forest? Yeah. Uh-huh. After Waterdeep. Yeah. After Waterdeep. Mostly like, well, let's set up shop uh, at the very least. Straight down the high road, down towards the Misty Forest. Mm -hmm. hmm. There's a song about that. I do not remember, but... Well, if you're gonna stop by, uh, if you're gonna go into Waterdeep, how about you also think about going to, like, 
the watchful order. A uh, watchful uh -huh. order? Well, yeah, when you, uh, if you can use magic in water and you go into water deep, you uh. need to register for the watchful order. Oh, I don't use magic, so I'm good. Oh, oh okay. Wind no, it's okay. We're criminals, so it doesn't matter. I just like smile at Nugget. I, I don't but, think... but, but Masterful Booker, I don't, I don't, I don't want, I don't want you to get in trouble. <laughs> they, they, they know. Hey. They know if you're unregistered. Okay. How about this? How about this? When we, when we get to Waterdeep, we can get your, we can get anyone who does magic, uh, registered with the, registered with the Watchful Order. That's all of us. All of you. That's no, a lot of people. I, I don't. Me, John, and Ozai I doesn't. I fucking hate magic. Yeah, I don't. I'm just a fighter. Uh, and Jolin. And Jolin just, you know. Jolin. Yeah. Uh, he like he he like opens like a little notebook. It's like a it's like a little flip book. He starts quickly flipping through it. He's like he's like I knew. He's like I knew it. Forget what to say. Okay, I got it. He's like. <laughs> He's like now he's like yeah, he's looking down and he's like reading off this like super tiny like to a normal person it's like a normal flip book but to Nugget it's really small in his <laughs> <laughs> He's like if you're traveling over land in a party and you aren't restricted with mastery unless you stay at extend beyond the day uh after that point you must register uh when you enter the harbor the gates or the city courts discovery of the failure uh, will result in a fine and forced labor. Of course, uh, the what? registration subjects uh, must pay a monthly taxation. Uh, okay. He like he like closes it. He's like, so yeah. Um, you you have to register, or else you will be forced into slavery. Yes. What the because... fuck? What? What kind of yeah. is that? But here's the good part. Here's the good part. If you register, you won't get forced into slavery. And there's nothing wrong with it. All they do is they just make sh Cause here's the reason. Here's the reason they want you registered. Because if somebody does a crime with magic, they want to be able to trace it back to who did it. But if you're not no, registered, they're going to think they you're want guilty. Money. What? <laughs> money. Uh, can we just all. So, money I... to keep everyone safe. No. Nugget. Nugget, you're going to yeah. have to learn. They're going to have to learn that sometimes. The best thing to do is just say it ball and just don't don't register, just go through it, just don't pay any mind to what the law says. You know You guys are really bad people if you don't register. <laughs> Shut up. Mm -hmm. Nugget like puts his hand on his hips while looking uh, out at Schmeevil. He goes, Who like taught you those would, things? Like they would <laughs> know every spellcaster that enters their wall. I, I could be like I I could be any guy and I could walk in a crowd into the fucking place in Water Deep and they'd just be like, Boop, hello and then I'd walk past them and then nothing would happen. Vice. Yes. But if you cast but you can that means you can't cast any magic in Water Deep. No, it just means I can't leave anyone alive who sees me do magic. Oh my god. Master Trucker, you know you can't say things like that. Oh. So, like, Fine. there's nothing magically stopping? No. It's too expensive. Uh, I mean, was... I mean, registration is not really that expensive, right? It's just a paperwork and then you're done. I mean, I don't know. I've never registered. I don't know how much it is. Nugget, is it how much is it? Is it free? I don't want to think about it right now. I'm on a I'm on a boat that we just paid for. I want to relax. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about it. I'll pay for you the first time. The first time. Or how many times you need it? How many times are you gonna be in water deep? I hope for mm -hmm. a long time. I'll pay for you the whole time. So I I. I like I like grab Taki's shoulder. I'm like I like Whoa. leaning in. Do you see? Do you see now? It's only something. like guys. It's only like one gold per year. <laughs> so it's one not that expensive. Per year. That's an entire goat. That's an entire goat. Are you a fucking capitalist? This is this is 
This is awful. I'll Whatever go per year. Means. Like I'm like obvi like I mean like obviously for us it's not that bad, but think about like well, think about like just like a guy who was born a sorcerer. Like a guy who was born a sorcerer gets totally screwed over by this rule. Yup, yup. That is true. Like, one silver per month. Mm. Like, what if Shmeevil has an illegitimate son, and then, like, that son has to pay a gold per month, but he can barely make rent? If baby has a son, I don't think we should be talking about that. <laughs> uh, Either way, if, huh? if Nugget is offering payment, then just... I don't know. Yeah. I'll do it. I'll do the payment. And besides, it's you a gold... You have to do the paperwork, and I'll do the payment. Besides, you guys are helping me out. I got Schmeevil isn't it a baby. Schmeevil's a strange little man. <laughs> Schmeevil's a gnome. He's a dirty, ah. crusty little gnome who I love. Ah. <laughs> but look at it, it's making baby noises. I have to, he reminds me of someone I hate, and I want to stomp his face. <laughs> I will not let you do that. He is my friend. No child abuse. Is cool. Child abuse is very bad. <laughs> Shut up, child. No, no, yeah. No. Yes. Looks at the fourth wall child camera. Child. child abuse is very bad. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> Nugget, like, as you guys are all threatening to uh, beat up Shmeevil, Nugget no. is over to Shmeevil and picks him up. It's literally me. Nugget. You're, you're pressed no. against Nugget's giant teeth. <laughs> Your boobs are very big. It's gonna be okay. I work hard on them. My pets are great. Wait a minute. Wait, what are you? Wait, what are you? squeeze? No. There's no milk. Man. Jordan. Wait, what's your name? Nugget, right? What are you? My name is Jordan, where are you? Jordan, I need help. Where is an egg? Are you a fighter? Jordan, fucking help us. We need an exit. We need an exit. <laughs> Barbarian? What? What? No, I'm a wizard. I study under my master. You're a what? All the magic is stored <sighs> in his boobies. They are. I can taste yes. it. Say that again. Oh, okay. <laughs> no oh, licking, please. Uh, Have you guys been feeding this baby right? He, he's a wizard, <laughs> no. as I. He's a wizard. <laughs> I hope you guys have been feeding this child right. He's like holding Nugget like they a little haven't. bit further away. I haven't. I starve him. He's my son. What? I thought it was. I thought it was the. He like that thinks for a second. Yeah. Uh, Jorlin? I thought it. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. I thought that was the father. Yeah, it is. He's the father. I'm the mother. We got a problem with that? <laughs> His eyes are like sparkling. It's like, how'd you do that? I'm a, I'm a woman. Can't you tell? <laughs> like, <laughs> I Jose's gonna Jose's gonna cover one of Seisha's ear because he can't cover the other. I'm covering the <laughs> other Seisha's ear. Too. <laughs> like it's looking over at Booker. He's like, so do I call you uh um uh, Miss Booker instead of Mister Booker? No, Mister's fine. A, that's a Why you covering my ass? It's a, it's interchangeable oh, wait, for bugbears. How how do you have both? Oh wait, yeah, no. The other one has is missing an eye. Never mind. Huh? Oh. There's two people well, missing. I eyes. am missing an eye. This jewel isn't an eye. I just <laughs> just stuck this jewel in my eye socket because I was you drunk. Just some, yeah, he just jammed something into his face. And just fucked yeah, we gotta. Up. How is me? I hope anyway, does me. anyone want this? It's been in my eye socket for a while now. I think. Man, can... I am not touching that. That thing is uh, covered in eye. I mean, goo. we can sell mm -hmm. it. Um. No, we can't. It's covered in eye jelly. I don't want it. It's the uh, Ayun stone, right? <laughs> mm, I don't know what the fuck it is. Oh. Just, just keep just in it in there. Stone. It's probably fused in there by now. Just keep it in. I mean, I could always take a look at it. Oh, for the love like, of this God! Is okay. Incredibly off the point. I can like. Have it. you brought, like have you have you tried to attune to it like at all? No, is it, your, it's that a decoration. Much. Okay, okay, it's a fucking decoration. Got it. I haven't attuned to it once. I just <laughs> you just have it. <laughs> I have it. Decoration. Yeah, uh, for my eyeball. It's my class eye. The eye is fake. Yeah. Yeah. He pops it out. Ah. Uh, oh. Uh. Uh. You you are you are bleeding. No. Oh. <laughs> eh. Flops it back in. <laughs> do you? <laughs> You do you have a kid too? No. What? Oh. what? Wait, hold on. What do you mean by? 
do I have a kid? Wait, huh? Yeah, he does. It's what this, do you, it's this what unicorn. Do you, the, the unicorn you is know, his I'm child. Unsure. Wait, what do you, do you know mean by having a kid? Nugget, what do you mean by that? This is the I, mom, and I point. I point at. I point at Taki. They're they're together. They're I am together. no no <laughs> ew. I'm yeah, not the is. mom. I I am. You are. I am not. I need a DNA <laughs> test. Something's not you right. Gotta, you gotta <laughs> accept your responsibilities I, I as a mother. Paid. I I'll never support. met Ozai in my life before. I just met him like a few months. That's it. Taki's. I a don't know about that one. No. I, <laughs> look, Gert. It's okay. <sighs> I need it's, to just like the, it's just like I the legend of Jesus, Saint Jesus Christ, you know, like it was. Uh, it was yes, the, the sage. Who the, who the fuck? Yes. <laughs> my mama is yellow colored with wavy hair, and my daddy is gray with black hair, and they're both unicorns. Mm. Oh, I don't believe you guys you. are. I'm sorry. This is a sensitive topic. We can't tell. We can talk. We can't talk about it around uh, around kids. It's like holding <sighs> people. Uh, Say it now. <laughs> so, I will what? comment. So I will comment that like um as like as time passes on, you, you guys can you guys can see it's a it's a tiny bit far, but you guys can see this the city of splendors water deep just over the horizon. So I it's probably within like roughly like thirty minutes you guys will be pretty much there within their great harbor. That is Ends bigger up. than I imagine. Oh yeah, water deep is what I've heard. This is a big fucking city. Yeah. I, hope, no, I hope you'll be okay, Merlif. I start water deep. That's um, oh, that's 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 my house. I live there. That's that's mm -hmm. not the entire thing. Is not your house, Booker. It's all my house. I live there. No. <laughs> you know, water deep. He, yeah. uh, he, hmm? he might he 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 really means it or like he mean like most of it i guess you know so you mean to say that he just sleeps in someone random house and just call home no i'm, I'm, not, no, I'm not being serious at all shweevil i'm not joking i don't i don't own it oh i don't own water deep. that'd be why would you think that because you said it how was i actually able to fool two of you shweevil has sure this been that. working i'm pretty sure i got kicked out of water <laughs> Yeah, sorry, I just I couldn't have you there. You're just too cool. I'm sorry. Man, you guys are. No, I think I, I drank and dashed somewhere. Oh. I'm guessing this. <laughs> oh, sorry. Did you like put a? Oh, there's so much tabs on like different fucking taverns in that goddamn area. I don't think I can go to a tavern here. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and I mean all the taverns. <laughs> but you do. Uh, never mind. Marilyn. Oh, oh, I made sure to put it on Taki's name. <laughs> Fuck oh you. no. I oh, actually no, not your name, but uh, your dad's name. Oh, my dad's gonna Taco. kill you if you do. Eh, not the first time. Oh, what? <laughs> huh? God, we're finally here. Why is this boat she, so fucking like, slow? She like sobers up a little. What? What'd she say? She said. You can put the tab on my name. No. 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 <laughs> Taki is rich, so I'll put it on. I'm not. Name. I'm not rich. Shut up. <sighs> I hate you. You are, you are rich. You have I'm not like rich. 100. Oh my god. Joel, let's just That's give a... me the gold to hold because I'm just like, he can't hold it because, you know. Does, it's does heavy. your family not run a profitable business? Yeah, but I don't get allowance like that. <clears throat> you think they're just going to let you starve on the street? Yeah. You know, they <clears throat> give me lunch money. That's it. I just keep I just keep burping into my microphone. I'm so sorry. Problem <laughs> so I, it's, it's, it's I just get lunch money. I don't get like I don't know. Here, here, Taki, get get a, get a nice dress or some shit. No, I don't. No. No. Taki, your your family. Wait, yeah, not Taki, a you're like a you're 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 a princess. I'm not a. Right? Oh my fucking. <laughs> You're a but princess? I'm not a princess! Well, yes, she owns an entire princess. continent. I She's don't the own most a important continent. person. Uh, she gets flustered. Like, actually. She owns the entirety of the I Shining South. I am a South. soldier of the Shining Shelf. Please, I am not a princess. It's just, like that, it's just like that one story where that princess snuck off to go join the army. I didn't even snuck off! Ugh... I'm, I'm ready not... to touch down and get it's hard ready to, to touch. get down a business to defeat. I forgot. 
The shot. Uh, uh, so get I get a head count of everyone who's ready to like to touch. Don't down. kick me out of water, uh, deep so immediately, ready. please. I. Hate. All right. <laughs> Let me. Eh. Eh. I. Eh. 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 The whole boat collides with the harbor and goes. Eh. <laughs> Fucking eh. terrible. Awesome. Okay, okay, okay. We, we, we break down the walls like it's bossing, say. Disgusting. Disgusting. I grab the door handle to water deep with my grimy mitts, my slimy, sweaty palms. Eh. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> At long last, a new sight presents itself as the seas part way into nothing more than the fabled city of splendors, Waterdeep in the flesh. Famed for many things and actions and places and people. From the very foundation, adventure is what lies at the core of the city, built by those who sought it and maintained and ruled by those who seek to keep that spirit alive. West, the sprawling Mount Waterdeep fitted with one of the eight defenders of Waterdeep atop its peak. The griffin in its regal pose, gazing ever so protectively across the dock ward, as if bidding you a welcome to this place of grandeur. Sprawling hills are aligned with rows upon rows of structures, each with its own unique flair to it. From the sprawling centers of the countless inns festivized with music and light, to the lines of guild halls that each mark the mastery of a craft unique to their members. From the streets designated with names that reference stories known only to locals who've dwelled upon it for decades, to the grand temples that sing praise to their respective deity, shining brightly with blessings handed to them from high above. In the wake of the Harbinger, Waterdeep persists. Their like is accustomed to the tales of the weak overcoming the mighty, and to, fa and to the face of the primordial lords, they decree that life must go on, and so it does. The sun rises over the sword's coast as it ever did, as it ever will. A shining symbol to those who would seek to maintain the, sa the sanctity of the their ways of life. Such affirmations are written on the faces of its inhabitants, from the lowliest beggar to the highest noble. We've overcome many, many triumphs and tribulations. The spell plague is nothing more than a farce compared to how our grand city has outlived it. I welcome the ire of those who seek to ruin our way of living, for they shall find that to let sleeping dogs lie is a wise way of living indeed. Thus, life goes on in the City of Splendors. Sounds of a distant battle beyond the high walls erected are drowned by a chorus of unison, a ballad of bravery, a song of strength by those who yet persist. Primordial lords have ordained themselves mere bystanders, not permitted to partake in the world they inhabit, on whose authority? If they wished to have their land, they would take it in blood, for they would fight, live with such fury that even elementals would bleed. At last, the ship docks within the harbor of the dock ward, welcomed by a chorus of shanties ringing throughout the harbor. The bridge is lowered and connected. A group of City Watch members escorting a mage wrapped in black cloth awaits, beckoning the newest arrivals to the City of Splendor. King Mage. Well, we're here. The thing there was. I mean, Well, all right. Um. If you we if we do have the time, I do want to stop by Mr. Monokai to get my blade fixed. But we do need to talk up <clears throat> in our journey. Uh, I think we're gonna have to go through that guy first. Oh my god, there's a giant. <laughs> yeah, evil on the map. Let's see what we gotta do with that uh, as we offload first. Yeah, um, we need to offload. We need to register. Got a lot of things. We also should probably find our halfway. <laughs> you think they'll kick me out if I register? No. Uh, no, maybe a tavern. Oh, oh, only taverns, maybe, but not really. Oh, oh, sorry. You could use a different name than than your name that you have now. You'll probably have to pay like a few, like. But you, what should you I go? Have, with? You got to share. Um. Uh. 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 Mushroom. <sighs> mushroom. Um, grass. Um. Jitaki but, mushroom. Man. Mushroom grass man, that's it. Yup. <laughs> Jarlin! Sure. Where that? Sure. Where the hell is he? Mushroom grass man. Sure. Father. Oh. Oh lord. <laughs> you, you, all, you all seen 
Jorlin? Is he here? I think, I think he's just chilling in the cart or something. I don't Being know. chilling. He got a boat suckness. Oh, okay. AK, maybe John's watching football. Okay. Well, I'll go walk over to the oh, guy he's... then. Oh, hey, Joel. <laughs> oh, fuck, Joel. He is, he is in the cart. Like, he is... He's chilling in the car. Jockey, you bring the cart around. I'll go say hello to the guys up front. See yeah, what's going I got gotcha. you. I'm bringing the talkie one, though, and I'm going to grab Shmeeble. I, like, pick him yeah. up. I, like, put him on top of my head. Uh, can I can I quickly check? We don't need RP. The prisoners, this is, like, how they're doing. No, they're fine. They're just, okay, like, cool. they're just in there. They're, right, are they I'm playing poker? Don't worry. Yeah, yeah they're yeah. playing poker in the back. Here. All right. We, and with that, she's just going to take the cart uh, and follow. I walk over towards the mages with, I imagine, the rest of the party in tow and my favorite talking boy, Shmi. He's the thing. I'm Rem going to keep a distance from the mages. <laughs> remember. I think that's fair. Please remember, we have I three, don't want to murder we have a three dire wolves. That is, two is pulling yeah. the cart, one's with Merlin. <laughs> I am keenly aware. <laughs> for your guys' for your guys' sake, are they chained up? They yes. Really... Yeah. They're like toward, They're on the cart. They are chained to the cart. If they're going to go absolutely buck wild, I imagine we've addressed that already. Yeah. Uh, hey Vice. Yes. Can I ask a question? So yes. the dire wolves, right? I assume she yes. can probably talk to them. Does she know their names? Yeah. Their names are what Marilith gave them. They've grown accustomed. Um, like, they're called Crasher, Basher, and Thrasher. Crasher, Basher, and Thrasher. Yeah. <laughs> That's names that you expect Booper to name. <laughs> <laughs> Looks at me. TBT. <laughs> Pooker's right, so, so happy with those names. He's, he's incredible. <laughs> All right, so you so you approach so you approach the magister pretty much. It's a kind yeah. of he raises his hand. He raises his hand. I was just like you know, kind of hold right there as he approaches. It's a uh, they're like. It's kind of, it's a little bit difficult to see most of his face apart from you know a typical like a typical human mage that's completely almost entirely wrapped in, in black clothing as he as he speaks up he's like returners or newcomers Oh, uh, returners and newcomers wait ah, wait wait see. for those who, for those new for um, for returning arrivals names please uh booker you see him kind of like flick out his hand as like a as like a as a manuscript kind of opens up. It's created out of this white marble with um, golden writing all writing all across it that constantly changes and shifts pretty much. Mm. It looks to be a very fancy manuscript that's literally only purpose is to kind of hold and recall all the names of everyone registered within the city. Oh wait, I'm supposed to use my last name too, right? It would expedite the process, yes. You have a last name. Well, okay. Um, I'm going to try to recall. <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry. Look it up yourself. I give up. I don't want to think about it. On you. My name is Booker. Uh, I have, I'm returning. Uh, if you can't find me, you can't find me. I don't care. Booker. Is that with a G or a K? B U K O R. He's an idiot. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm not. Not you. <laughs> <laughs> kind of uh, I can't find any mention of it, so I'll have to re register you. It's nothing new, just paperwork on your hand, just a mere coin as I add, just a mere silver coin as I add your name to the register. Okay. Uh, in that case, I am King Grimmel, the 15th of my name, George. <laughs> he blinks at you for a moment, and then, like, he, he like, he kind of, he, he turns his body so you can see what he's writing. He's writing in Booker. B-U-K-O-R. <laughs> I, I just, like, huck a silver piece at him, like, Rope. Wait, wait, Booker, didn't Nugget have to pay? Oh wait, no, that's for something else. Also, I don't have a coin. All I had, I, I don't think. What did I throw at you? <laughs> also, why the fuck do I, I have any like, electrum? I don't have any. I don't have any silver coins. So it appears as if I've tossed something random at him. I guess it's my my tinder box. I've hucked something silver at him. It's not silver though. It's a tinder box. Talking, talking notices. She actually. 
it like clatters to the floor and you see him kind of stiffen. Like the city watch, like the the few city watch guards, they're mostly there to kind of help transport like the 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 like you know the cargo off of the ship to help offload it and assist the people. But they kind of they look over, like they look over, kind of wary, pretty much after that happened. It's like, is this a joke? Uh, no, that was a genuine mistake. Uh, I I got the payment, sir. Don't worry. Just I got it. Does Taki! Does, does yeah, Ari right over? Oh, never mind. Yes. It's okay, Taki. Those guys are ready to pay for everything. All right, Nugget, hurry up, pay for us. Okay. He gives the guy <laughs> the, the guard a single nugget. No, not get a single. <laughs> no. Whoa! <laughs> she takes out one chicken nugget. <laughs> nugget the question. The doc guy. This question no, is gives... what nugget is it coming from? Oh. Mm. Oh. oh. Is he? he, uh, he oh, gives no. him a silver coin. Limited edition nugget action figure. M- McDonald's nugget. <laughs> Are you all an adventuring party or here on your own? Um, Traders, bankers. Uh, merchants. 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 Uh, merchants, sister. Merchants Ooh. under the Tsuki uh, company. Ah, I see. Mm-hmm. Gives him the business card. <laughs> he mutters to himself a little bit. Is like you're scribbling out a few more, a few more notes that shine, shine upon their completion. You also see that the just staring at it like oh. he presses the gold coin into the manuscript, and it's like it's like it's absorbed into it pretty much. It's like, <laughs> yeah, like pretty much sucked within. God, of I it. Imagine. It's back. It's yeah, back back them. Looks back at them. Since I sent some, since you mentioned there were some newcomers with you, and you are likely all traders, I highly recommend visiting the uh, the Grand Guild of Traders. It will help you a lot greatly. Thus saying so, here, Archimedes, give them the pamphlet. He kind of snaps his hand as like a short, stubby little boy runs out and kind of like he's, he's got like he's got a he's got a coat that's way too big for him, and like he has a shit pocket. And, out of what and out of one pocket, he like holds out a bunch of like different pamphlets and manuscripts, pretty much for your guy for your guys' usage. I'll be showing them to you in the form of handout. There's nice. in the city. Shasta, don't eat it. The you, words, oh, how did how the fuck did you know? I was just gonna say Shasta. <laughs> Shasta, <laughs> don't eat it. <laughs> like right before you can eat it, I was like, takes it out of her mouth. Uh, hey. <laughs> Read you There's like a me. book. Amazing. <laughs> There's the wards of Waterdeep as well. There's the wards of Waterdeep as well as um, I already shared surviving in the city. Um, there's anything else I will. Oh, wait, also code code legal maybe I don't know. Yeah, it's code legal. Uh, we need so to know words. the law. Oh, you gotta respect the law. It. Okay. Do you have no, an updated version legal? of? <laughs> oh, uh, okay. so that's. Yeah. Uh, oh, this, is like... code legal. It is our, this is the code legal, it is the law that we all abide by. Please do so, or you will find complications in your very near future. Oh, Ozai is like reading Wonderful. through everything that he's probably done wrong. <laughs> <laughs> he's checking off the list going down. Yeah, he's like, mm, done that, done that. Thank you for giving us tons of copies of that, I appreciate it. We do what we can. Given everything that's going on, we, we I'm like sorry to I tossed a tinderbox at you, by the way. It's tense times for all of us. We would like to extend hospitalities to traders from abroad, as despite everything that is going on, life persists. This is the motto we have decided to undertake, and it is what we shall carry ourselves with. Please, <sighs> live as you will. Do not regard anything with fear. All is well. Yeah. Do you recommend mm-hmm. any taverns? <laughs> I mean, if it makes you feel any better, man, we we contracted this entire boat to bring us here. This is all all us. So you're doing your city a big favor by letting us in. Apparently, impressive. Mm-hmm. Well, then you'll have well, then you'll see nothing um nothing unusual there. I just like gives, like, look, like oh, the entire ship. I see. Oh, um, ten day. I read that wrong. Ten day. Um, another question was asked of me. <laughs> it's like he looks at what was I? Best huh? tavern. Ah. Oh yeah, it was the best tavern. Best tavern. Truthfully, I re- truthfully it can be found in the dock ward here. I recommend Dots Dolphin Tide. Dots Dolphin Tide. Thank you. Dots Dolphin Tide. 
Shmeevil. Shmeevil. So then, like he, so then he kind of goes down just to expedite it. Yeah, he's gonna go like through the kind of process, you know, just like saying like, "Oh, is this your first time?" It's like, yeah, "Are you, are you resident there?" So like, just for expediency's sake, is anyone lying about who they are or like why they're there? Mm, pretty much? Nope. No. Uh, uh, although. Uh -huh. Although Booker is, um, he doesn't really know, he doesn't really know too much about the family stuff, like family name stuff, but it seems like he's yeah. going under new registry. So he's just kind of, he's being very vague about the type of work he did or that he yeah, plans on doing. He's incognito. That makes sense. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's okay. trying to be as sneaky as possible. He's being very general, not avoiding specifics. Okay. Um, Sage does chasing the little doc boy around trying to oh, get no. a pamphlet to eat. <laughs> <laughs> He's For anyone like, who tries to go into specifics, I'm, Booker would be like, no, I'm, it's woods, and they'd cover it up with something more general. I'm gonna chase, chase stuff. <laughs> I'm hungry! I'm hungry! The boy is, it's like he's running, it, it's surprising how fast he is on these, on these fat little legs. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, 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 uh. Get back here, you chubby little boy! Chase just stop chasing the child! <laughs> Oh, oh, there it goes. Here's, here's another one I forgot to show. Well, we have to register the unicorn? Yeah, she, but yeah, no. I. Oh well, yeah, we technically no. They count as sentient beings, but well. <sighs> we've I mean, you don't really get many of those, do you? They don't. No, 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 no. That's not the case. They don't understand the concept of a coin. There's no use trying to tiff anything from them. Thus, we just let them be. All right. Wonderful. Oh, so you're Chase the points. You're immune to law. capitalism. Yes. <laughs> And lastly, are there any magi with you? Or mages, magicians, sorcerers, wizards, you know the drill. I like look up at Shmeevil. I'm gonna let him answer. I like hold him out. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Except that guy, and he points to Nugget. Yeah, I'm Nugget. Hi. <laughs> and he does the same thing with Nugget, kind of rec he recognizes his name. It's like, because it's like, he's fucking Nugget. He's probably the only person in all of Waterdeep called Nugget. You know? <laughs> Nugget. Yeah. So he looks right. Down, can like erase it off, and then it looks back and it's like, and then it looks back it off. By the way, Sorry. I I'm registered here. Uh, my name is uh, Sire Shalaminius uh, Gorgulus Gorgulin Gorgulin Bucanus Gargle Breath. Ah, Gargle Breath. Yes. Yes, Gargle Breath. What the yes. hell? Huh? I have right. always hated your name. A name, a name so uncanny, it's I recognize it, and kind of like he pulls it up and like writes How it down. How do you not find Booker in there? Are there more <laughs> goblins? Where he the doesn't fuck find Booker, but he finds Gargle Breath. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> Maybe it's just because it's really specific. Yeah. I mean, Gargle Breath is his last name. They said it made it easier. Nice. Right. And that's like so then he. So then he points. Wait, so is then it he his kinda... last name? <laughs> well, so I don't think he, uh, you he... count. Evil Gargle Breath. Hmm. The mage pointedly looks towards Gargle Breath. Uh, and it, uh, <laughs> it's, like, it's like a... Your ability to cast... The, so your ability to cast on a scale of 1 to 20, how would you rate it? 1! <laughs> He's yeah, a baby! I am a... <laughs> a child. <laughs> a literal infant. <laughs> He's just, he, he's, he's pretty all right. I like him. Would you, consider, would you like to consider joining the Watchful Order of Magists and Protectors headed by Blackstaff Aurora? It is strongly encouraged as through them, your efforts and power will likely, will, you'll find apt training through the many mages that are registered under their name. No. You just see There's his a whole face. Tower of mages. We're not conscripting our child into the military. <laughs> Not not Ignore that, that his thing says that he is actually like probably two hundred something years old. He is definitely a baby. I am tall. Do you realize how many how many baby face gnomes and goblins and halflings I have dealt with through my time here? Oh, he's clearly not a toddler. He's an adolescent at most. Thank you. Oh, mm. looks like I've been found out. Oh, I just discovered. He said adolescent, yeah. not an adult. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. That's what he, he's like. And then he like, he like bashfully like puts a hand on his cheek. Oh, goodness. I, all I wanted to do was go through water deep to find my my mother ever since my father. And he like gestures to 
to <laughs> Jorlin. <laughs> my father rescued oh, no. me from the deep, from from. from <laughs> Uh, I was older him. than him. <laughs> I was. I was killed by Squiddy. Squiddy, Squiddy, uh, Seishta just looks at him. No, well, you wanna chase around ladies. Yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't work too well. Yeah, my name is Joran Gustfoot. I'm already registered. I own property in in the town. Well, I'm adopted. I live here. You've already paid your tip for the year. You're fine. That's All right. Excellent. Thus, uh, <laughs> thus, with no other business to conduct, I bid you all again, welcome to the City of Splendors. I hope that however long you're staying, it shall be filled with nothing but hospitality and hearth. Thank Wonderful. You. Thank you. Thank you. Should we go register the... People are looking at me weird. <laughs> that's because you, you have one arm and one eye. Let's leave. People don't like cripples. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Christ. We kind of like that. Now that we're in the city, is... we should go see our ma my master. No, we're not going there. Not yet. I mean, why not? Sorry, so my, uh, I'm just. I just wanted to comment. Like by this point, the, the city guard or the city watch, as well as like um, oh God, what's that one? There's so many guilds. I can't remember them all. Um, the guild of uh, um, there's too many. There are, Warden? there are many, many different kinds of guards. You can say specifically what their kind of task is, and then kind of oh, go from city, faction yeah. to faction. So the City Watch here, they're in tandem with the Order of Mastership Rights. They're these kinds of people who are adorned more like sailors. They're more tanned of skin and everything. And they're helping boats unload the all across the docks pretty much. As well as some of them kind of inspecting them, checking them, kind of going through. It's like, you know, anti-smuggling kind of division pretty much that helps welcoming people and unloading their cargo onto the streets. Mm. So these guys, that's what their own sect is. Yeah, they've completed and pretty much like you know. So you guys are you guys have everything. You're free to do as you please. Welcome to Waterdeep. Yeah. Mm. All right. All right. Real we quick, have. Okay. Guys. Hmm? Yes. Uh, um. Does Shmi Shmi has been around quite a while. Um. Does he know anything about Blackstaff? Blackstaff. Ah. Okay. So why don't you roll me a Arcana check? Oh, Arcana. Try help. Yeah, you can help. It's been a hot minute since I've had you guys roll Arcana, so I want to go that down because the black staff is, no. is very arcane. Ooh, you're helping, so a 23. Okay, let me pull something up. Let's see. The black staff is the title given to the Archmage of Waterdeep. They're they're renowned as the, they're renowned as the most powerful or at least the most renowned magi responsible for the overall protection of the place. <sighs> then you, and of course they they reside within. Um, I'm going to reveal it very quickly. It's towards it's in the it's in the castle ward. You'll see it in just a moment. Blackstaff Tower. There it is. Damn, that's in really far away. Yeah, in accordance to their um. And you know, in naturally in accordance to their, their, um, the art of black, the current black staff is renowned by their black staff. It is a, it is a, it is a staff that is known to command the the command to command the eight defenders of Waterdeep and animate them in times of need, such as the Sword Maiden, the Griffin that you saw atop of Mountain Waterdeep, and the, along with the Honorable Knights, such gig they are gigantic. Um, fearsome statues that are active that are able to be activated and just like i mentioned in times of need pretty much and they help they hold considerable power and if you were to divide if you were to divide the political power between waterdeep half of it would belong to the open to the to the lords of waterdeep the open lord and everything and the other half would belong to the mages to like to the different mages housed within headed by the black snap of course and as you mentioned and as you mentioned the current black staff is known as black staff aurora Hmm. What was her last anything? name? Aurora. Borealis? <laughs> okay, did Localized you entirely <laughs> within our city? <laughs> wait, wait. Did Taki like, actually say that? or? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's Aurora. Borealis? Stop no. Saying. Oh, sorry. Oh. Alright, now, now listen, Nugget, you gotta bounce. I can't have you here. Huh? Wait, why? Because uh, I'm not dragging around two prisoners. We're gonna offload them. Oh, do you want me to wait here? 
No, just go anywhere. We'll find you when we need you. Oh, I can uh, talk to you with my mind. We got Schmeevil. He's a spellcaster. Yes, the baby can. Okay. Yes. Uh, oh, baby. I do. Adolescent. I do really want to stop no, by. Not take, not, take, not take a hike. Wait, oh, I do, but I do really want to stop by Mordecai to fix my blade, though. Yeah. Okay. So okay. I, you want to come with me then? Uh, I'm the driver. Oh. It's fine. Uh, okay, I'll so wait over weird. here. In this, I'll wait. Uh. I'll wait. We don't need uh, to But I swear it would be a good... Kind of, like, lead the horses like you're good. You sure? Yeah. We got Meredith with us. Yeah. I think that, honestly, because it was... It's our employer, Mishmevil and Booker's employer, that wants this. I think it's cool for us to just go cash out and then bring the money back to you guys. But, mm -hmm. I mean, that's just my thunk, you know what I mean? You guys can try to rustle your heads around, but I would be much... How more about, um... The three of us did it. Mm. I got an I idea. How about the three of... No, 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 hold on. You wait right here. Uh, so, us three, me, Jorlin, Schmeevil, we'll go do our thing. We'll turn these guys in. And then all of you, the rest of you, all part off and go with Nugget. Yeah, Yay. that sounds good. I like that idea. We'll that way, we don't have time. to introduce you to, like, whoever we're going to be yeah. meeting with. And we, don't have, we can avoid that entire mess. Uh, and you can just leave. And also, uh, we'll I, was, I was also planning to register us in, in a trading, just in case if we do trade. Power, power oh, uh, Look pretty bad if you were to. hanging around where we go. All right. It's going to be under Let's my name. Us. Don't worry about it. Let's get daddled then. I am going to lead the horses. I'm just going to grab this fucking oh. reins and let's, you know. Can't go too bad. We're taking the we're taking yeah, the wolves, Mary. Let's are ours now. No, the Mer <laughs> I mean, like, huh? they're cool. They'll listen. They'll listen. Will they? Yes. <laughs> I'll take. I'll take I, I good care of them. No horses. I thought we just had. The... No, we, we just had the wolves. Yeah, we right, just have it. to die of wolves. Yeah. That's it's it. Just... Listen, <laughs> listen Marilith, I can take care of them. It's going to be fine. She probably does like you know very briefly like you know speak I... to them like you know don't don't act out. Like <laughs> I'll make sure to feed you, and if anyone decides to feed you, like rough. As long as it's safe, go ahead. I like, rough, you know, I... as long as it's those three. You know, those from those three people, go ahead. Mm. She doesn't want them to get, like, hurt. Pretty Aww. much. Because uh -huh. well, people can be cruel. All right, uh, but where should we uh, meet up? Back here or um, in the tavern? Don't worry about it. Just go to Mordenkind. Yeah, just go to Mordenkind. Don't worry yeah, about it. Find we can oh. just meet up in Mordenkind. And that's, that's sort of Okie cool. dokie. Uh, just, uh, where is the address at? Uh, Nugget. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> I uh, thought that Morden, was nugget. So, that was a good one. <laughs> so Morden, <laughs> so Morden Kynan's mansion is just beneath the House of Wonder. It is located within the Sea Ward. Am I familiar with that ward at all? So, um, Holy shit, Wonder? why is it so far? <laughs> oh, we're not. We're far, we're far from it. Yeah. The oh, House yeah. Of Wonder? Like, yes, it's, it's, it's half the fucking city. That's fine. Yeah, you're for, yeah you're familiar like everyone's familiar with the House of Wonder. It is a um, it's a it's a temple dedicated to Mistra, the goddess of magic. Mm. So it's like it's like a well-renowned place. Yeah, everyone knows where that Ozai, is. Ozai, would you like it's to go across the city? But it's not a big deal. Ozai, it's not you... really a big deal. Ozai, would you like I to want go... to see this black stuff person? No. No, we're not bothering the local authority and getting executed. Um. I think Booker knows what he's talking about. I mean, they uh, did let's check there, the right? code legal. I'm gonna like point over to the point. I'm like, I'm like tapping on the page right where it says assaulting or impersonating a lord equals death. <laughs> well, Ozak is kind of just ignoring you. He kind of seems <laughs> set on this. All right, mm -hmm. your funeral. How about we don't do that? It's okay. Maybe uh, we could do some uh, official means of uh, meeting them. I. <laughs> I've never really crossed paths. No. So I wouldn't know. Don't set up oh. anything official for him. Don't make it clear for him. I'd rather him assault an official or kill a guard or something in face 20 years exile. I want to uh. incite Ozai. Jed. Sure. Oh, yeah. 13, what can I gleam from when he says I'm the most serious he's ever been? Like, hey, what? I... what's the intent? I guess? Is he like, is he balling his kill. fist? Or is this like, that's it, just to meet, uh, just to meet her. A mixture of hate, grief, and agony. 
Oh, yeah, geez. that's that's not good. We're not doing that. <laughs> and and longing. Hold on. And longing. Gross. I mean, he's gonna kiss her. I mean, also is smart enough not to do that, so I won't. Oh, I'll figure it out later. Yeah. Later. Later. All right, later. Eight, three, go, go do your shit. Later. Bye. 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 Meet you and whatever. Take care of yourselves. Now Don't go Why the off. fuck are we going to travel half of goddamn city for this shit? Taki, please read the code legal and follow it. For the love of God, I don't want us to get in trouble. No, don't worry. I'm reading it. Wonderful. Man, there's, there's a lot of code legal. Um, Taki? Oh, which group's going first? Yeah, what's up? Um, do you mind if I hold on to your arm? I don't want to get lost. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. I mean, she you seems can... kind of very nervous about this place. I mean, you can sit on... Wait, are we walking? Or are we just riding the cart? That's the question. They took the cart. We took the cart. No, the prison yeah. cart. The prison cart, right? Or the, the the two carts. We only have one. Yeah, you took the prison cart. No, no, we have two carts. <laughs> one for the prisoner, well, like... one for the trading. Not anymore. Really? Yes. When? We got rid of it last session. Remember there is like, only... when we offloaded? Like, we offloaded a lot of stuff yeah. and we got rid of okay, both Okay, so we just have the, the one horses, cart. And we have the one cart with everything in it. Okay. I think the reason that Booker <laughs> said we were technically traders is because they don't... They, they, they don't want people to figure out that there's people in there. Gotcha. Yes. We just have the one cart, okay. Yeah. But... <laughs> I, guess I, wanted, I wanted them to just assume that everyone on premise was part of our likely comp our company, your company. So gotcha. they would assume our so two prisoners are co are like just employees. All right, then 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 we just have to one cut from here on out. I guess. Yes. I was confused, but yeah. Uh, yeah, yep. we can hail like a car and we can ride it. Well, I don't want to walk half a fucking city. Uh. Don't worry, you can hold my arm. I don't mind. Okay. All right. The three musketeers go. I think it's your first. You rode the highest. Yeah. Well, we're going to make our way mm. towards where we can find our boss, pretty obviously. So, mm -hmm. wherever that would be, Jet. No, Jet. We sorry. Got... Yes. We've got criminal <laughs> contacts. So we have a, a reliable, credible contact that we know where to find through illustrations and walls, graffiti, other things. Like, Mark's the only we we'd understand. Yes, yeah, sir. Exactly. Yeah, you guys know exactly where it is. It is, uh, so if you will direct your attention up towards the um, top, the more the more top right most area, Troll Skull Alley. That is where that is where you guys are kind of sent on your like business. It is like the hub for is the hub for the um the affiliation you you're connected to. Gotcha. Away we go. I think she, I think we're moving our token. Uh, I don't know if normal travel rules apply. I don't think they should because we can travel quite far. Uh, no, this is this is like I I wasn't planning on. This is way different. This is a fucking city. It's imagine it's fast. You know, it's like you come so, and go. Yeah. It's come and go. Do yeah. we see anything of interest along the way or no? So you actually do take notice. It's uh, so you kind of see like a um. How do I word it? You see a group of jesters kind of heckling this one and kind of heckling this one um this one like, person who looks awfully awfully like a noble. Like he's kind of just trying to do his best to mind his own business, kind of just quietly like sitting off the side of a cafe, eating and just these group of jesters are all prancing about him, howling all sorts of insults and jests on him, about him. You can't do anything about it. It's legal. <laughs> Shweevil, Shri it's you. <laughs> Shweevil, it's you. It's me. They could be. They could. They could be your kin. We just have to find find them again later on when we're done doing this. <laughs> Think about it. You could be a clown. <laughs> well, I was a clown for a while. You said he's a nobleman. Yeah. They're and heckling then, a nobleman. Gonna Durin's die. gonna like walk off and like hand the reins or whatever he's holding off and be like, "Hey, you leave him alone. You hear me?" <laughs> can I stand? Can I stand behind him and help him out with like his intimidation? I just like I'm in stand, just like. <laughs> you kind of like. You kind of like it's. <laughs> 
It's like it's oh, like emerging from a shadow. <laughs> yeah, like you see, like you see the jet, like you see them turn. They're like um, they're they're a bunch of fucking jesters. They're tranced up in all in like poofy rainbow clothing. They say like, oh look here, someone wants to defend the poor helpless people. <laughs> If it isn't Tweedledee and Tweedledumber. <laughs> oh no. I wish troll. Hey, allies. Jorin goes, you walk away right now where you're going to have a bad time and you're going to regret it. You hear me? I'm going to honk your nose. Here, here. <laughs> then he's going to walk over to the, the nobleman and like kind of like dust off his coat and then be like, are you all right, sir? He's like, he's, he's like, he's like holding his face. He's like, no, <sighs> Don't get yourself bugged in with this. As I he's holding it. his face, Joran <laughs> is going to try to, like, bonus action, fish for his money. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, taking his foot off. <laughs> like, can I can I help out uh, Jorlin by distracting the man for a little bit? Wait, can I, can I also help? I want to distract as well. I want to provide a distraction also. <laughs> No, You're I'm distraction gonna... while you roll a sleight of hand at the end. I'm, I'm, I'm just like, I'm just like heckling the gestures. <laughs> you guys are in like a heckle off, pretty much. It's like it's just back and forth bickering. <laughs> Sir, I am game. terribly sorry. To Ninety-seven you gold coins. Coin purse he's got. A happy coin purse. He takes that. it, he slides it, and then he flicks it with just using his ring finger straight up his sleeve, and he like readjusts himself and he goes, That's alright, sir. These Lick. the characters out here, they're nonsensical. <sighs> I hate justice so and much. <sighs> <sighs> and you can't even strike at them. They're from the guilds. <laughs> the guild of Jesters? Yes. This so might be, <laughs> kind of a sidebar. This might be a bit of a tough request. Is it cool if we alternate to the other party? I have to run around the corner and pick up my sister. We lost the Super Bowl, so she's done with what she's got to do. <laughs> that is so sad. Okay. Go do your thing. It is, it is. Yeah, you're good, I just dude. was wondering, but we can finish this interaction first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus. Eagle. Eagle's fucking died. It is what I am, so, I am so sad. <laughs> I'm not begging the Super Bowl. Don't say sorry. Fucking, Michael's gonna be. Michael is other. fucking. Dude, Michael. Yeah, is, but Mike's gonna be. Yeah, Mike's gonna be depressed. Yeah, dude. you should. <laughs> you should hold and caress Michael's face and hold him gently <laughs> because he's the one who's gonna hurt the most from this. But you're saying he's gonna. Know. He's gonna freak out later. He's gonna call me and be like, "Kenny, I have something on my mind. I need to talk to someone." <laughs> I need <laughs> to. He's done it before. We are fucking. He's done it before. <laughs> Alternatively, we could all message Michael and be like, L, race shield. No! No, no, he's gonna fucking be furious. He's suffering enough. Love him. <laughs> Show him some affection and care. <laughs> Alright. Anyways, what, now we're this, we're L ratio. Uh, L plus ratio plus a loser. <laughs> plus right, Eagles so. loser. <laughs> it's gonna be a riot. Eagles it's gonna be a fucking <laughs> riot, dude. What happens now? I would like this situation to play out first, so please continue. Gotcha. Right. So, like, uh, you kind of, like, uh, to kind of give you guys a little bit of context, uh, yeah, the Jester's Guild is quite literally a thing. They are like an, they are a group of like a group of like entertainers and jesters. And one of the benefits, is, though, there is a very high bar to get into. One of the benefits is much like the court jester, they are pretty much and practically immune to any and all scorn as well as legal punishment because they are jesters. To strike the jester would prove to, it would prove to be a very foolish individual indeed, and thus. Heckling one of their members is subject like it's a very specific punishment. Heckling a member of the of the jester's guild results in the punishment of being heckled by no fewer than four jesters for the period of ten days. <laughs> it would seem this noble has it would seem this noble has poked the ire of one of said jesters and now has been being hounded by them for who knows how long. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Man, you went for the Jester's Guild? That's rough. Dude, that is rough. You're pretty stupid. I mean, yeah. you're that's pretty unfortunate. They said never done that, buddy. <laughs> yeah, Listen, <laughs> don't let them get too far under your skin, I guess. It's going to keep going for a little bit, but stick it through. You'll be good. Kai. 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 <laughs> yeah. I, I lean into why the Jester's keep doing it. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, 
He's like, oh, we know. We've been tracking this man. <laughs> He'll know. We've even locked it. We've even found the keys to his house. He'll not know the rest of us. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh, my gosh. No. What did he do? We what filled his do? shoes with cream cheese. <laughs> ah! <laughs> and, replaced his pillow, and replaced the feathers in his pillows with rocks. Oh, oh no. no. Well, listen, keep your head up, buddy. He'll make it through this week. Okay? I'm contemplating death. Oh, <laughs> safe. Be safe. Be safe. Bye. And then, like, as they're walking away, and we get out of like an eye shot, Jordan's gonna lift up his coin purse and then just smile and point through it and then show the guys. Yo. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> right, now, right now, I'm leaving. I'll be back in five or ten. <laughs> Jordan, like, okay, I gotta pick up some shit. Hold up. Go for it. Right. So now let us cut back to the others. You guys are traversing up towards Morden Kynan's mansion, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Taki is sure. like arm to arm with uh, Meryl because she's like, because she's, yeah, she's scared. She's hanging out. She doesn't like this place because it's really big and really mm -hmm. full of people. Yeah, no. there's countless people. You guys are like, uh, though, nor though, like, um, there's like countless people. I don't. Have any of you guys been here before? Taki have not. So she's like, wow. Probably so... but drunk, so I wouldn't remember. This is a yeah. big fucking city. No, we, split, we split off in two different groups. Group one yeah. has no like has every idea of what they're doing. Group two has no idea what they're doing. Yeah, see, just yeah, imagine, you guys, like, imagine you guys kind of get lost at multiple points because like the, the city because the city is just absolutely bustling on this day in particular. Like Are I we mentioned following before, Nugget, though? song is like song is ringing out throughout like it's the video. Like as if it were like some as if some as if some grand celebration were happening, though Although they almost succeed in drowning out the sounds of a battle being fought beyond the walls, it grows more distant the further you travel away from it. But nonetheless, it seems like. Um, but nonetheless, if there if there's a war they're fighting, it's likely against the Omen, and their morale is high, incredibly so. Dang. Okay, I think we passed that building before. Oh, uh, Nugget, are we going to the right place? Uh. Hmm, that's Solo Street. That's Thero Street. Oh, Bazaar Street! Oh. We're heading in the right direction, I think. There's Trader's Way. Looks at There's Bazaar Street. Yeah, yeah, that checks out. There's Trader's Way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Man, we all lost a bit, huh? So, uh, as you guys, yes, as you guys traverse, um, yes. like, so as you guys traverse through, um, you see, you see, like, a. You see a colorfully dressed person, not quite from the Jester's Guild, but still kind of like, but still kind of. Um, I would put like I'd put him as a bard. He's like calling out. He's like calling out like an ad, like a like a kind of an advert advertising something to advertising something to everyone who passes by. Will you hear him or will you move past? Okay, look, it's a fancy man. Ooh, ooh, ooh we stop. That's the Bruno. It's like, it's like. Forget he's like, he's like not saying forget the apocalypse, forget all your woes. Come, come on, come all the hanging gardens of Babylon, the centerpiece for a grand festival hosted within the city of the dead in but a few days' time. Celebrate with us. Ready? If the end of the world is here, then we should meet it and be merry with song and dance. Come one, come all. I bid I bid you all to to say farewell to this world and embrace a new one. Yeah, we. And I say to point, yeah, no. Hey, we walk away. <laughs> yeah. Wait, no, no, I want to see the garden. But it's for the dead. Mm -hmm. I I read enough. It's for the dead. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Can, hmm? can I, like, insight this or something to figure out what the fuck he's talking about? Can I go help? Ahead. Because it's like, there's some weird, like, post apocalyptic like, apocalyptic fucking party that she doesn't really want yeah, to be just... at. Yeah. I'll let you perform with advantage. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Uh, In the yeah. meantime, um, Stacia's gonna go up to the guy. She's just fucking dazzled by all the like bells and like b like fucking jingle shit jangles. on his outfit. Yeah. Jingle jangle jingle. jingle. Oh, look at you! A beautiful unicorn gracing my eyes. Ah, a sign of the end times indeed. I could oh, not be happier. Uh, I'm the same. Pocket! 
Am huh? I causing the apocalypse? No, you're not, sweetheart. He's just fucking... He's just deranged, like, you know. <laughs> don't listen if to anything, him. If anything, unicorns are signs of great luck. Yeah. That maybe so, prevents so the so apocalypse, like looks at the dude. <laughs> He kind of holds up his hands. He's like, "Oh, you know." But um, <laughs> let me send let me send this out like as from kind of you got from your insight. Imagine oh. through talking with Nugget, you kind of gained some information yeah. about the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. It is a centerpiece for a grand festival to be hosted within the City of the Dead to celebrate the apocalypse with song and dance. The gardens themselves are renowned for being a wonder of the world, described as a remarkable feat of engineering with an ascending series of tiered gardens containing a wide variety of trees, shrubs, and vines, resembling a green mountain constructed of mud bricks. Aww. Allegedly, the purpose for its construction was for the wife of a mighty king who missed the rolling green hills and valleys of her homeland, resulting in the construction of this beautiful paradise that would forever remain, even past their deaths. Since it, it has become the icon for festivities and harmony, a place for beauty amidst the grim reminder of one's own mortality. Taki. Yo, hey. That might be one of the few green places in the city. Oh, you want to go there, don't you? It's, yeah. <laughs> she she kind of has, like, you know, wide of those teary eyes. I really do. Okay. <laughs> you can kind of see, like, you know, oh, from your... Fine. Like, from the... From like the insight, you're like you know, from the insight, you can tell that like you know, it's easy to portray him as like a madman or someone that worships the end of the world. But truthfully, it's just a scared person, someone who's trying to put on a brave face. And Fine. why not drown, drown your sorrow? So why not drown your sorrows together with others who share I mean, that same feeling? We can feeling. always do it later. Uh, like, let's do it after morning, kind okay? It's yeah. hey, I don't know your name. Where where is this uh, garden of Babylon? Is this like near here? Is, is it near right. Mister Mordenkainen? <sighs> Ah, the Hanging Gardens of Babylon are within the City of the Dead, the graveyard of this place. Look, I take it you are newcomers, are you not? Have yeah. me your map, I will mark it on it for you. Gives it, gives the map. Yeah, so he puts a, so he like, with a, with a happy little dot, he, know, he like, kind of, I'll put the circle on it and just... It's like right there. there. He circles, like, kind of the, the largest part, the largest section of the City of the Dead. I'll put it in... Right here. Yeah, I'll put it in red. There you go, like, right there. Uh... It's okay. Uh, it's not that far from Modern Kind of Mansion, but it's still a truck away. We can. It's like, it's like. I hope to see you all there. Remember, we are all one in the end. Let us embrace it together. Yeah, yeah. Goodbye, fancy man. Yeah, yeah. Pretty yeah. Don't worry, Mel. Uh, I promise we can take a little look to you, okay? I can't yes. ignore the apocalypse, but is it strange to find it comforting? At the very least. At the very least. I want to eat interesting flowers. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I recommend not eating the uh the the flowers that is laid upon those graves. At the very least around. Right. Yeah, maybe not the ones at the graves, but Find comfort that like in a time of Disaster, people will come together and just still find that the glass is half full. Yeah, that's it's a nice outlook. Yeah, at least. I hope it stays. Yeah. That's exactly what these people have done. You can tell it, you can see it in like just like the people who sat down to kind of watch and but drink. The only thing that by. I Yeah, the it's only like, thing it's present on all of their faces, you know? Yeah. The only thing that I do hope that we won't encounter spooky ghosts. Mm -hmm. I'll bite them for your I mean, pocket. <laughs> Thanks. If the, dead are, <laughs> if the dead are truly resting, then they should have no reason to wonder. I Unless hope so. Something about this um, war. We still need to be ready just in case because, you know, mm -hmm. maybe a <laughs> nose. Because, you know, ooze just pop up like like that, you know, man? Mm -hmm. I don't fucking know. We still. I promise. Ooze pops up like that? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. that nugget. Like, like that. that it's where they came from. Yeah, it like, just thin air. It just kind of, um, oh. when it started, like everything just kind of appeared at once. Yeah. It wasn't like this kind of like, you know, slow approaching. It was just like they were always there. Yeah. Kind of like the trees. She's like, she furrows their brows. Mm. Like the trees. Yeah. Hmm. More, more food for thought for your research. 
Yeah. Thank you. No, no. Oh, we should we should hurry. Yeah. Where no. where are we again? <laughs> we're over here. I'm where, where the circle is. Yeah. The market. Close to the market. Right there. Yeah, you guys are going on through. Um, for context, uh, I thought I had I I, I thought I had Morgan Kaiman's like a like a map for his mansion like already there, but it's not. So I'm quickly throwing it together again. I'll move you over to the map regardless, but please like fucking bear with me. I'm putting. Yeah, it don't, together. Worry, don't worry. Don't worry. Like distraction again, time. Like, go. <laughs> <laughs> Don't Mel you love technology, you guys? <laughs> Mel I, I, I will say this. Think think of these houses are like, you know, trees for for humanoids and like us, but I know it might get scary because it's 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 big. It's so closely condensed together. It's kind of like a beehive. Yeah, like yeah, imagine that, like a beehive. It's just kind of a lot noisier. Humans so make honey. Smelly for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely smells. Mm. But you get Device. used to it, don't worry. Yes. What is human beeswax? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> no. Right. Beeswax! Placenta. <laughs> ah! No! <laughs> Placenta. Is that what Water Deep is built out of? It's what your mom I mean, is built out of. He said, he said Water Deep in the flesh, so. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, please, no. It's like a beehive points to all of the flesh everywhere with all the holes in it. <sighs> you guys are actually having a mass hallucination. This thing is one entire conglomerate. You're joining it. Yes. Okay. Yeah, we've already merged with it. Might as well party, I guess. Exactly. Yeah. Are you, are you feeling a little stressed? The building's a little too big. Ah. Uh, everything <clears throat> is so condensed. It's like, okay. Um, it's okay, Matt. At least I agree with you. I didn't like that mm. either. Yeah. Very crowded. Don't worry. God, you'll, love... you'll, you'll get used to it. Like, this... uh, she squeezes uh, like Taki's arm, and then the uh, pets uh, pets <laughs> pets the unicorn. Thank you. Is that you, Mel? If that squeeze in my arm, sorry. She has big yeah. biceps, by the way. <laughs> Big bicep, let's go! I can squeeze the fuck out of it. You should put it on the map player by right clicking it. No. Oh yeah, it is in the map. Ah, oh. 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 there we go. You should get off the map player. Oh, that's the second Ooh. floor. Fuck, hold on. Yeah, that was pretty though. Pretty. Pretty. Ooh. There we go. All right. Oh, that's so cool. You guys stand in front of Morden Kaiden's magnificent mansion. Yay. I want to put it below. I would have to. Oh, Quick, uh, what's what's um? Wait, hold on. Never mind. Never mind. Let's this. Forty sixty. I love technology. I'm so sorry about this, guys. I feel awful. I'm so sorry about this, guys. I feel awful. Oh, good. No, take it. Advice. It takes time to set up everything. Um, it does. Mini like. When I, whenever I'm messing with my miniatures, it's because I have to. I have to make sure that like everything is like being put down properly. It happens. No, but it should, I should have had this plan before. No, I, I, no you're, you're fine. fine. You're fine. It's okay. No, you're good. Make another you're distraction. We love I do you. this all the time, bro. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. It takes time to set. Time. You did plan. You need to set it time. up. It's understandable. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. Look, DMs do that too. Don't worry. All of us I mean, do. I do all the time. I do it. I've been doing it. Also, John's back. Welcome John! Back. John! Is John. your is your sister like? Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Hey, love. Love. She's cute cool. boy. Cool. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you're doing fine. You're being the game master. Take your time. Set up your funny map. Do miniatures. So you can cut away from them if you want. Continue with us. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. What do. it's, it's like it's up to you guys because this is all set up now. If you guys, if it's up to oh you. okay, well then you're good now. Yeah, yeah just them. finish up with the, finish up with them and then come back to us. I'll drag Taki thus, in the blue square. Yeah, Yay. thus my friends, you arrive at Morden Kaiden's magnificent mansion. This is I put a little box. That's the first floor. That's like the entrance kind of. So, huh? Well, my left. At least this place has some greenery. So. <laughs> she still runs over. You still want to still hold my arm? <laughs> uh. <laughs> you read my thought. I was about to move my token. Place. 
behind you. Uh-oh. <laughs> Time forgets how to move tokens. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Time. It's in... it. Yeah, click and drag it. It's in your journal. Okay. I guess I could let go for an hour. I mean, I don't mind. Just... This is a slightly wanna... smaller big place. But it has trees. Points at the big fucking tree in the middle of the goddamn... Oh! Yes. More well, roomy, though. <clears throat> it's a nugget. It's punched together. Yes. There's a very intricate arcane lock, or, or arcane lock at okay. the front of the door. How do you wish to proceed? I use knock. <laughs> By the way, knock I is knock. loud as fuck. You knock like you knock. <laughs> you fucking knock. He like blows no. his hand into a fist and is like. Duk, 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 duk. <laughs> no, you know knock. The spell knock is loud. <laughs> It's loud. It makes like it makes the femur breaker noise whenever you. Use it. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> like, whole, the, the whole man shakes with like nuggets knock and like you hear it's like, and like you hear like a dis like a distant knell kind of like and just but it's like you know that's nuggets knock. So then um, or like you don't hear you don't hear anything anymore. <laughs> my ears, my ears are ringing. So after, nugget, ow. after a moment, like after the rings, like that, you hear what? like a bunch of flapping of ah. wings, pretty much, and then they're like. They're right against the door, and then suddenly the door opens. A bunch of chickens have opened the door uh, for you. Oh, chicken! Ah, uh, chickens! Like... Yeah. They attack. How, yeah. many, how many chickens are in here? As she looks <laughs> past in, like, huh? Uh, I don't know. I just like chickens. <laughs> Why do they have 75 hit points? They're obvious <laughs> roosters. There are seven chickens here to greet you guys. Oh, uh, fuck with Where are the hens? Hi, corn! 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 They're all named corn? They're all named corn. Because they like corn. So it's easy to remember. Wait, do they like. And if I want them all at once, I just call them? What? Do they know that, like, it's that rooster specifically being called? Like. When you say corn, do they all just like rush up and like engulf you? Uh, they know which one I'm talking to, don't you, corn? I think you have to look. That's one of them. I think you have to like <laughs> male. I think you have to like look at them, like stare. You fucking corn, you fat. <laughs> Give me corn, you fat fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to translate what it said. It said it said bad words. Oh. Ah. So any of these chicken more than kind in himself or are, are these just huh? huh? Oh no, Th- these are more than kind and they have way more hair than he does. Sashta yells at one huh. of the chickens. Mr. More than Kaiden, hello. <laughs> I'm not more than kind. I am corn the chicken. All of you are named corn. It's gonna run over to you. It's gonna it's gonna start pecking at your feet. Ah, <laughs> hey, no. hey, 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 hey! Here, Corin. Everyone, Shit. come in, come in. I'm gonna attempt to strangle it if it keeps trying. Oh no! I it's, shoot. It's gonna, it's oh, gonna fly baby. away. It flies away to the tree. Take it next. Well, uh, no, yeah, you heard a unicorn. I'm gonna dispel you later. Uh, I'm no! just gonna. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. You, you, you see fire forming around Ozai's mouth. Oh no! Oh Calm no! Down, Ozai, no, it's, it's okay. Don't the place on fire. <laughs> uh, mean. That's not more than kind of. That's corn. Here, come with me. Sorry about the. Uh, sorry she, about corn. I'm she, gonna get rid of him. She's gonna knock on the, the door side. Uh, it. Uh, I'm home. Waiting. I'm, so awaiting you is like you know awaiting you is just, it's exactly like this guy this magnificent mansion. None of you, have, none of you have encountered, none of you have like reached the level capable to cast the spell. Matt Mordenkind's magnificent mansion. However, that spell is based off of this one of his own. Every inch of the glimmers and is seething with arcane energy, as if it was created meticulously to perfect this paradise within his own, within his mind, and, and make it reality, so to speak. No, additionally, you hear, no, additionally, you hear distant speaking and murmuring coming from this room. It feels no. absolutely disgusting in here. <laughs> oh, uh, it, oh, it means I'm home in, in my my tongue. Oh. Uh, I'm a... Tad. I hate wizards. Tad, I... Ma. Itaimasu. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> oh, that was a nice try. Uh, <laughs> 
ございます。Morning! Morning! 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 I think my master is still in a meeting. Uh, let's let's go to this room. We could let's go to this one. He points at like like a dining hall ish kind of area. Ooh. I think is that okay. is that what this area is? Yes, floating candelabra is awaiting you. Is like this place is just as warm as oh. everywhere else. Uh, like a little like this thing does. This thing is bouncing and kind of moving to a to an imaginary beat as it just like rides around. Why are they dancing? <laughs> oh. It's great, I isn't it? Because I'm a bit nosy. How how loud are they talking behind those doors? Or this is like it's silent because it's magic, you know. Different voices are being spoken at different volumes, pretty much. Though so there's this one, there's this one cacophonous kind of almost roaring that like almost drowns everything else out, pretty much. You can't quite oh. tell if they're having a civil debate or a heated argument. Though maybe they are one. Though maybe those things are one and the same. Who knows? <laughs> you guys could wait in here. I'll go get my master. Okay. Uh, okay. They're, they're not gonna. They're not gonna swoop down and uh, get us, are they? Oh, he, he he's looking around at the chickens. Corn, listen up. You heard him. I'm dispelling you. Oh. So behave. Oh. Oh, oh. oh. is he taking away? Why? Being taken away? <laughs> is he being taken away? Why? Wait, is he right one's there? Staying, though. <laughs> this is one's he, staying. Is he staying? Wait, there. Oh yeah, right. Get him with the chicken. Get him with the chicken. She probably doesn't even make a sound. Like she just kind of. Uh, Nagat, she she's taking. Uh, Nagat, she's taking. Oh, okay. They took a sacrifice <laughs> with them. A sacrifice. Can, I, can, I, can I be stolen by the chickens, please? <laughs> yeah, you can, you can, uh, can I be stolen by Mr. the chickens? Mr. Ozai, you want to come in? <laughs> he kind of gives him a look of disgust and takes a step in. Yeah, come into this room. I'll go get the master. It's okay if you're scared, Ozai. I'll be here. <laughs> Well, the brave unicorn gives you her blessing. Shut up. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh. Yeah, okay. He's not really a fan of magic. That's okay. For each their own cup of tea. I'll get you tea after I get the master. I'll be a matcha. Uh. Nugget does then his normal thing. As you all saw in Booker, uh, with Booker, which is he just bursts open the door whenever he wants. Kicks down the door. Hey, Master Mordecai. So I need to know: Is anyone looking? Because like, is anyone looking? Yeah. Into this room? Yeah. <laughs> Nose right. yes. Yeah, we have nosy as shit, dude. Perfect. All right. Yep. I have one eye, but I could still see. So I don't. So I don't have tokens prepared. But instead, I have something even better: a little handout to kind of a little handout instead. You are welcome to the sight of Mordenkainen in his circle of eight. Mordenkainen sits, but like sits at a pew, surrounded by surrounded by famous and very powerful looking looking um, regal looking people, ranging from all ranging from all kinds of walks of life, along with a very large mirror located right here. That in its reflection, you can see a gigantic green dragon. They were deep in a heated discussion when Nugget burst in, kind of all of their heads simultaneously turning to look at them and regard and regard him with curiosity. Mordenkainen rub. Mordenkainen, he like he froze his very deep. He froze his very deep brows. He's like, you've returned. What is it? Ah, uh, I brought guests. They were help. They uh, they helped me. So I need to help them back. You did tell me to, to 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 accommodate Mr. Booker, and now his friends need some help. So they're here. Ah, they are ordained with them. Tell them to come in. I have many words. I would like to speak with them. <gasps> really? Okay, I'll go get them. Uh, dun, 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 he's uh, running. The door is open, across. and you see us just watching. It's like, uh, 
he runs over, he does like a slide. Master Mordenkai wants to see you guys. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, yeah. Is that a fucking green dragon? Uh, yes, let's go. Why is there fucking. Oh, yeah, okay. Ozai feels a little insulted with that. Yeah. My god, Taki yeah. not again. Taki doesn't know that. I don't think she knows, though, that Ozai's a red dragon. Oh, we're the chickens. Right. Will me too. May I left, come on. Uh oh. Uh, the chicken? <laughs> More than Kaizen still mad at us. Okay. <laughs> still... Come. Uh, come she just kind of waves at him like she totally wasn't kidnapped at all by chickens whatsoever. <laughs> what are you talking about? Move you guys a little bit. Falls inside. Oh. Ah, don't move me. <laughs> no, I'm moving. <laughs> you want to stay out there? Yeah, he's gonna take like a deep breath. He'd rather be in there with these fuckers than this damn rooster that he's about to goddamn murder. <laughs> <laughs> God, everyone's oh, no. moving the rooster. <laughs> no, that's me. Right. It's dancing. No. So now, like, from to kind of, I'll give you guys a little description of everyone who's in here. It's like, you guys already know who Morden kind of is. He's right here. Then sitting direct, then sitting directly to his, I believe, his left, um, right, Saint Porgoth, the king of all death knights. There's some information on him. He's sitting, like this tall, dark, this tall, dark person with art with um, he wearing plate armor that is as black as midnight and adorned with the emblem of the Death Knights. His armor is intricately etched and covered in engravings depicting scenes of death and destruction. His gauntlets are made of black iron and adorned with sharp spikes. His face is obscured by a full-faced helmet with a gleaming white skull, which gives his which gives him a fearsome and intimidating presence. His eyes, visible through the eye holes, grow malevolent red and his mouth is twisted into a grotesque snarl. To his left, Borgen Sharox, the maimed hey, virulence, nice. <laughs> an ancient green dragon, one of the largest and most powerful of his kind. He is a more formidable figure with a massive build and immense strength that makes him one of the most feared dragons in existence. With his right wing once majestic and strong being now tattered and maimed, the result of a brutal injury sustained during his wormling years. Right, this here remains an imposing fi figure with scales of deep emerald green he, covering his body and shining. Hmm? Is he just like poking his head out, like from like a portal or something? How is no, he fitting it, in it, here? So, like, there's so what? So like, what that's they shrink him. There's, there's this big mirror, pretty magic much. Mirror. It's like oh, it's okay, like magic mirror that he's like you can see him through. It's like it's a magic Skype. It's a magic <laughs> Skype. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's, a, it's, it's, it's a magic it's, Skype. <laughs> He's on magic Skype with a big fuck off dragon. Wait, what is it that the school use that is like Skype but not really? But it's like for businesses. Oh, Zoom. Yeah. Zoom. Zoom. It's yeah. just Zoom. Zoom. <laughs> it's just Zoom. It's Zoom. Magic it's Zoom. Zoom. To his left, the master of intrigue, Jarl Axel Bay Bay Bain Bainer. I don't know how to say that still. A flamboyant and charismatic drow standing tall with a lean and athletic build. He has jet black hair that is oiled and slicked back, emphasizing his sharp and angular features. His eyes are a piercing red and seem to twinkle with mischief and cunning. He wears a large feathered hat that is tilted at a rakish angle and is often seen as sporting a confident smirk. To his left, Nairal Silverhand, the Lady Mage of Waterdeep. Tall and slender woman with long silver hair that cascades down her back like a waterfall of light. She has striking angular features and piercing green eyes that seem to glow with an inner radiance. Her skin is smooth and unblemished. Her movements graceful, confident. To Morden Kaiden's right, and on the other side, Kelvin Arun's son, former Blackstaff, a tall regal figure with striking features and a commanding presence, with dark hair that is swept back from his face and a neatly trimmed beard. His eyes are a deep brown and reflect his cunning and intelligence, while he wears a long black robe that is adorned with silver embroidery, carrying a black staff that is topped with a gleaming orb of purple amethyst. To his right, Alastor Blackcloak, the master of the Mad Mages. He is a towering figure with a wild mane of unkempt white hair and piercing blue eyes, a wizard of immense power known for his unpredictable and eccentric behavior. His long, flowing robes are adorned with strange runes and symbols, and he often carries a gnarled staff that crackles with arcane energy. To his right, 
the Grand Betrayer, cast a bloody handed. A formidable figure standing tall with broad shoulders and a fierce countenance, a muscular build honed by years of his skin is weathered and tanned from years of battle and was crisscrossed with scars from countless wounds sustained in combat. He has jet black hair that is cropped close to his scalp, tied back in a tight braid that hung down beneath his, neck, his back. His eyes are a piercing green and glints with an <laughs> inner fire that portrays his ruthless nature. And, and lastly, say less. <laughs> and lastly, to his right, Elminster Armar, the Sage of Shadow... Shadowdale. Sh the Sage of Shadowdale. A sight to behold, he is an elderly man with a regal bearing, standing at an impressive height with a stately costume. His long white beard reaches down to his waist, giving him an air of sage-like wisdom and experience. He is dressed in a simple wizard's robe, often in shades of blue or purple, and it billows around him as he moves. His piercing bright blue eyes gleam with intelligence and power, and are framed by wrinkles that speak to the many years of his life. Ah, <sighs> fuck Yes. That is the circle. That is more than kind in the circle. Good work, man. Good job, man. To your, to your guys' like, knowledge, the circle of eight is summoned pretty much only, and is summoned like, you know, during moments of crisis. Um, would someone like to roll me a quick uh, history check? Can really we all do rollies? Yeah, I'll let you guys I'll I'll roll. Let you guys rollies, go. everybody! Rollies! Rollies, rollies! Roll 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 17, 50 for Seisha, 5 for all size. All size is like. I think also it's like it frothing uh, in the mouth, like... Uh, oh! Oh, 20 good job, easy! Good job, Izzy. Good job, Izzy. Good good job, job, good job, advantage, but still 20. Let's go. Yeah, the, total, the total check, like, just adding them up was like 35. So you guys blew, blow that out of the water. So... And to be so, you guys are standing in a room with the mo with a few of not just the most powerful mages renowned across the lands, but warriors, paladins from all kinds, <laughs> from all walks of life. They share different beliefs, some being chaotic evil, others lawful good. But they have all been summoned here underneath Morton Kaiden's watch for the one sole purpose of restoring and keep and maintaining the great balance. Think um, the blood uh, to give you context. The blood war is a battle being fought that has been fought since the dawn of time against the against the devils from the the abyss and demons from the nine hells. And if one side were to win over the other, or even worse, were they to join forces, it would spell the end for all creation. They have been summoned here. They have been and they have been summoned only very few times in the past, but almost always to address the concerns of the great balance being being exactly that in an imbalance, of course. So Unlikely it's, allies. It's the magic yeah. Geneva exactly. Convention. That's exactly. It's the magical Geneva Convention. Yeah. <laughs> it's basically, the magic Geneva Convention. This is the. Seeing, you're seeing the U.S. and Russia talking this is to the one another. United so this Nation. is another bad guy. This is like exactly. this is another bad guy who's worse than both. Yeah. This is yeah. the United Nation type shit right here. Holy uh, exactly. I would say the United Nations. I would say something more unstable. You have a bunch of bad the Illuminati. <laughs> this is just a lot of the world's most strongest, most organized folks all got together to discuss what what are we going the to main, do. The I main. The main. They're friends. No, they're like frenemies at best. They're friend of me's right now. They're all probably trying to get it like one up on one another. It's probably why the meeting has gone on for like eight fucking eons. I'm, oh yeah, I'm actually, yeah. Because... Can I with this? Is it? Can I with that history? Can I gleam that it's like, oh, they talk about like if we do win, I want this territory. Like those try to trades and like dealings and shit, right? So I imagine you were listening in from before. Like you're you kind of listening. What they were actually yeah, discussing is like what it is like what to address there's the issue of above and the issue of below some of them want to go out to tackle and take on the task of dis of discerning what the trees of creation are for what their design is and everything and who these primordial lords are while others are more ordained with the great bout with the great balance and are talking about how something terribly wrong has occurred within the within the first layer of the nine hells and how they need to seek it out and instead investigate that oh shit We're fucked. So, We're fucked. So kind of, yeah. So Morden Kynan's hands are kind of folded over his lap as he, as he, as he stiffens his back and he looks and he looks any kind of any dresses you all as any dresses you all. You've come from quite a long way. Yeah. I take it you have encountered one of the primordial lords. It is why I've had my apprentice to summon you. You have information you would very much like to hear. 
Haki just looks at Mel if, if she is mm. comfortable. If she is, like... To be quite frank, like, internally, she's kind of fucking terrified, but this stuff needs to be on the open. Haki's so gonna, she, like, she takes out her pat her on grandfather's the shoulder book. and just, like, gives, like, she kind of, kind of shovels a little bit. Uh, wait, where's where's Nugget? Like Nugget's on your left or above Nugget's you. On the left. And where are they? Like where are they sitting? Like what? All he's on the pillar. He's just little seats. Like they're yeah. all like they're on all these little seats. And yeah, everything. Oh. Warden kind is right across from you guys. Like he's in the middle. Okay. Like the head honcho, he is. Yeah, she just kind of steps forward, like at least as close like, to the table as she can to put it down on it, like. Is this a table or is this like a like a? It's a round table, pretty much. He flicks his hand, and like chairs are summoned for all of you guys to sit wherever you would like. <laughs> Thought you were gonna say he flicks his hair. <laughs> he flicks his hair. <laughs> no, he's fucking bald. <laughs> he flicks his hair right off. Uh, Nugget stands uh, beside the door, like just right yeah, here, like, like guarding, yeah. like he normally does. The mage next to you, Meryl, with, like the. Uh, yeah, the name the mage next to you is Elminster. You see him kind of like he gives you he gives you a very kind smile. He kind of remembers to you. He's like, don't be intimidated. don't be intimidated. He's full of farce. We've had a very long discussion, but he'll do just fine. She gives like a little smile at that. Like I thank goodness at least somebody at the table is like uh, like I don't know, semi approachable. Just, just a little <laughs> Their heads are up their asses. They're all too bothered with formalities and whatnots to get to the bottom of all to get to the bottom of the problem that's before us all. <laughs> if anything, it's a new voice we've needed. So come, speak, little one. What is your name? Uh, my name's Nella, and uh, the Lord we met. I have good reason to think that he is my grandfather. With that, most of them kind of stiffen. A few lean, a few lean closer in their chairs to kind of like um, and to kind of look closer. However, uh, like however, um, the dragon kind of the dragon kind of sneers and is like, I believe you would come here with proof more than simple words to speak of such mm. things. Let alone, where do your priorities lie? Obviously, to restore balance. I never knew him, but even if I did, I wouldn't let it get in the way of this. That'd be foolish. We'll see. Speak then. Uh, she kind of like takes out the picture, uh, like the one that she got from the house. Yeah. Like, um, when we first saw him, he was wearing these exact same clothes, and the research in this book was about, like, uh, Vice, could you, could you help me a little bit? I'm a little, I'm a little, uh, oh, yeah, it's been a while. On. So you mentioned, you take, you make mention of Inly of Lyle's records and all the research. Uh, uh, excuse me, sorry. And make mention of all the research that he had been poured into, into the different energy planes, such as the yep. para, para elemental plane of ooze, something that has piqued his interest. I imagine you kind of hold it out for them. Do you hold it out for them to look at? The kind of like oh, yeah, definitely. Everything, along, yeah. With like, along with the card, or even like the picture and everything, they look at it. And it's like, Morton kind of speaks again. And like, he, he, you see him like casting some kind of magic, kind of like to discern the true nature of it and he nods and he nods in grim in grim agreement we have all witnessed we have all witnessed the same vision we have all seen the same enemies and it matches up word for word mm -hmm. and if i do may add we did encounter this um bunch of summoning of oozes in the wave of cave near fendolin it is wise to stay away from that area for the time being or do for research purposes Verily, so far from the so far from his supposed base within mirror of dead men, Laryl speaks up. Kind of that the woman that you guys noticed earlier. She and she like runs a she runs a hand down her own cheek in thought in deep thought. It's like, but what purpose would that serve? I imagine you have more to let on on that. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I mean. 
We encountered something in there that clearly we weren't supposed to. It we was trying to get our friends out. It was um, a smelly guy. He said he was filth or something. The like Lord that. of Filth. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, something we did there God. upset him. Not only what that, else? this Lord Why of did he attack you? Don't know. Mostly mm -hmm. from what we know, that Lord of Filth is very powerful. We felt that time stop. We can hear him, we can see mm -hmm. him, but we can't move. We're frozen. Mm -hmm. We killed. He killed one of not really all party members, but um, it's nonetheless an ally with a ray. Multiple we, allies. Multiple. Yes. She looks very sad at that. Just <laughs> one ray. I don't know what it is because I'm not magically. Until the first person you kind of saw the one in like complete armor, he like he speaks of impressive and having done nothing else with but a flick of his finger causing death mm. perhaps they really are worthy or owners of the power that they claim to have perhaps but why did he let you leave I don't know Question. Mm. perhaps there's more he gender just barely escaped yeah mm -hmm. I don't think he intended for us to leave, but if he is, I'm afraid we don't really have any idea why. Maybe he just thinks of us as ants. Yeah, perhaps more fish are bigger than us. Hmm. In which I do want to add in our findings as well, from what Marilyn have seen, these omens, that these people are targeting religious figures and other churches as well. Hmm. I tell what for. Really? Well, I think it's to... I think it's to cut the gods off. Like, their power. What is a god if people no longer believe in them? There's no longer anyone to believe in them. Without faith on these people, perhaps some of the gods are about uh, power to do anything. Alvin Sharax, might you have something to share on that note? I think she kind of, they all look, yeah, they all look over at the green dragon. The <laughs> we all look at the green dragon. All of us looks like, at green dragon. He, he, gives oh like a, he gives like a grimace, like he gives like a grimace and you see him like, his, like, his, claw, moves out, his, his claw moves out of range of the camera before he holds up a dead omen. Pretty, like one of those creatures you have fought pretty much like long since dead, kind of like it's dulled pretty much and like its eyes are like washed over with a, with a gross film. It's like, you likely mean one of these then, these pesky little creatures. Vanquish me from my own home, if you would believe it or not, having popped up all over the course of the world. Mm. I live halfway across the planet, and even here these trees of creation have, <laughs> have proven the bulwarks for their armies. They have targeted many, many different churches and other organizations over here. This is a battle the world is fighting. Mm -hmm. And if he truly does have a connection to you, he points a points a little lizard finger over at Mirrell and it's like then likely you hold some secret to defeating him, do you not? I have never been one to believe that the apple falls too far from the tree. And she kind of goes stony days. Uh, like. she... Go ahead. Uh, she probably isn't saying anything. Like, he will mostly because like um, on... defending herself would take up too much time. Yeah, Seishta like, doesn't know what the fuck is going on, but Taki's... she sees that talk or that um Marilith is upset. <laughs> Taki's gonna be in front of her. Perhaps the apple doesn't fall from the tree, but. She is not like him in a way that you think. 
She's okay, deaf. it's nice! Do not accuse her of being mean! Yeah. But at the very least, she, she can... With her relationship with her, with her granddad, she can do something about it. But she is not mm -hmm. at fault of anything. At the very least, we do have a okay. way to... Oh, there? Remember the portal, Merlith? Yes. To the Tree of Creation? Perhaps. In far from Fandolin, north from here, there's a shack that the granddad used to live. It has mm -hmm. a uh, teleportation circle, from what I gather. It's been there for years upon years. Mm -hmm. You see them, like, they all kind of, they all look at each other, and, like, Morgan kind of speaks up. We have all been trying, we've all been trying to find a way to try to, to penetrate the trees of creation. And despite all our prowess, we cannot seem to teleport within. It is the impenetrable barrier by all means. If you have found some way to gain access, then by all means, we would hear it. Yes, the, the shack in question uh, is, I believe the circle is uh, broken because of due to old age and being ruined. So perhaps restoring it will allow you to access the these trees, or one of them at the very least. One of our party members crossed through it, but <laughs> I think um, he met you. I think you're well familiar with um, the My one that My girlfriend's in Japan, and she sent me a photo. She looks really adorable. I'm just gonna post oh. it in text chat. I think okay. She looks so <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> but yeah, um, Mr. Look at her. Mr. Morning Planet, <laughs> I think you met one of our party members who did go to the television sir. Ah, yes, the ah, yes, the foul smelling bugbear. I not fondly at all. I bet. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh good thing he didn't went somewhere that we didn't know and tell about it to you, sir. But yes, that's the that's a good place to look at first, at the very least. Mm. Uh, you see the... Oh, sorry. Uh, well, if it's alright, I can mark it on the map. What up? Do you guys want to find a good stopping part in that conversation to co come over to be John was, Squid? If only yeah, because I was, of... <laughs> please, I was like, I was really about to mention that, like, okay, if I can... Was that everything you wanted to say? Uh... Yeah, I think so for now mostly we're gonna oh. mock the map where the shack is basically mm -hmm. like teleportation yeah 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 so they all so they all look at each other and they, they, there's like a great moment of silence just the tension in the air is so thick you can taste it and eventually and uh eventually El Minster, he speaks up again he speaks up again seemingly unfazed seemingly unfazed by everything that has been spoken it's like well it seems we have much more deliberation to do please Make the most use of it. Make the most use of Wattenkind's home. We would like to call you back here when we have finished our discussions, but for now, we would request some privacy to further discuss these matters. Gives a Thank you all for your time and your words. It takes much courage to face a great evil. I would know. I've done it many times before. And the fact you've survived from it, even being his own kin, means only one thing. No matter what, no matter if you share blood with him or not. Your heart runs true and good. That is what matters. Okay, that's on. Like, not not. And he says, "The glares back at the green dragon again." <laughs> <laughs> you see, you can see, he, he like mouths something like that's probably a really offensive term to unicorns that only dragons use. <laughs> <laughs> Sage's so eyes just yeah. go wide and her ears go up. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the, mo the yeah, most vile words that can be spoken. When you yeah. go into the room before <laughs> something bad happens. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the dining room and wait for them. Uh, Call her a fucking slur. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! I think Ozai won't take this. <laughs> I don't like, no. No, let's get him oh, out yeah. of there. <laughs> oh. He'd know what that meant. Okay, this way, this way. All right. We can come back to that Master asks though. for it. Yeah, we go to the uh to the dining table. Wait, yes. You can go to what's well, the the trio of bad apples. Um, I'm sorry, I'm sorry for poking. It would, I wouldn't be tapping my wrist if it wasn't because like I've been waiting a little bit. I'm That's fine. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah. I I also really wanted to. I I 
Go, this is don't so worry. cool, man. I want to join in. <laughs> don't, yeah, don't worry. Don't worry. Right. We got That's, it. They're, they're having more deliberations so you guys can join in on this because there's yeah. other stuff you got. Because, I mean, yeah. obviously, you know, there's fucking Abel. Well, they don't know about that. Yeah, so, we don't yeah. know Abel. That, that, exactly. That's like, did we mention Abel? No, I don't think so. <laughs> now, I feel like I'll, cut up to, I'll cut over to the others. Man, it sure would be bad if uh, everyone just suddenly got wrapped up into something I wasn't looking to get wrapped up into. Um, yeah, I know. Remember, I only remember, said that they're going to go visit her master or Nugget's master anyway. It shouldn't be anything, yeah, you know. Yeah, but remember when Toggy tried to run off and like kill all of the demons that were living in the mountain? And I mean, Ozai wants to just go kill every magic user he can find, so it's kind of tough. So. I'm kind of, I'm kind of worried. As soon as we go back there, immediately it's going to be like Mordenkind and them have now signed a contract that legally binds our entire group to now go kill God or something like yeah, that. that and we're now bad. going to be that would, that would suck. suck. That would suck. Go kill God. <laughs> Man, we're like Man. the only green ones here. I'm not turning in and no one's pawn. I'm just gonna play. I'm gonna do my own thing, you know. I'm gonna chill. We have two different sides: the heroes and. Yep. <laughs> Our contact has been taking forever to come to come here. I've been we've been waiting here for like eight thousand years. Like at least two hours have I mean, passed. Like, I imagine here. that this is a little in the past, like before they're. In <laughs> 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 We're not. It's not like we've been posted up waiting for half an hour, forty five minutes. <laughs> I just think it's funny. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, we're here now. Yeah, we are here. Guys, back at the very familiar Troll Skull Alley. It is renowned for being exactly that. There's a gigantic Troll Skull that's hung over that's hung over this alley, kind of a symbol to your to kind of specific uh, your guild, the Shadow Thieves. That this is, hey, this is the entrance to your own underground into the under mountain beneath. I'm guessing you guys are. I'm guessing you guys are entering, kind of like yeah. going forth. There's like a, into the, the sewer we go. No, it's, like a, it's not like a sewer. It's more like a parallel city, just underneath it. Yeah. Kind of like a little, like a little bit of a hot, little bit hollowed out kind of deal. That's but so cool. There's like some cronies there. Like, so it's like it's like they recognize you. It's like, oi, you lot, been some hey, time in it. <laughs> What's up, man? Yep. Holding up. Oh, you will know. You know, business as usual. The end of the world, nothing new, nothing special. Say. So, yeah. Moss has been looking for you. Yeah, that's why we're here. We came, but we came before the end of the month. We got the stuff. Yeah, Moss always yeah. wants me. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Why do you have to bring, why do you have to bring him back? Like, nobody would turn the other cheek. Nobody would turn the cheek to you. He's essential to this operation. Oh, you man. leave him alone. I see wow. Evil like rubbing his tummy. He's like, yeah. <laughs> I am ready. He's, so renowned, far, he's renowned for he's renowned for all sorts of unspeakable things, but most of them involve its sexual nature. Unless you want to be involved in them, then you're gonna well, leave him alone. Is, it is at the very least entertaining. He had sex with an ice method on the way here. Right, right in front of us. It was the funniest well, thing ever. Right right sex of with an ice method. Sex on the mice. Spread the no spread the word. Get going. We're gonna leave. Well, I don't think you would. I think I don't think you'd be strong enough to handle that thing. That ice method was strong. I blew up plenty ice methods. What are you? Thinking? I don't all think right, so at all. Go, you look you small. Know what? I will. Fuck you. Go fuck with that. That's a terrible idea. Have a great day, no. my friend. We're gonna. Yeah, yeah. You. It's good to see you. Lot. Glad to see you're all alive. Even you, Schmiegel. Uh, good to see you too, my guy. All right, get one. All right, later. See you later. We've gone stronger than you could ever possibly imagine. See you later. <laughs> so, how the underground is kind of divided up? It's literally like a one-for-one -one scale of what everything looks like above, just for sake of ease of how they've built it. Is like you know different kinds of different kinds of roads of like um all these different like places and like. However, instead of them being houses, they're all like different. Like kind of like mansions in a bit. They're all st in, like warehouses, storehouses. The city is likely filled with underground warehouses, and this so happens to be their own. It's their own base of operations, kind of built into this. So, and I imagine you guys are heading. Like I imagine you guys are heading to the um to the one where, like to this. I suppose wing would be the right way to call it. The wing of the um, of the one who had hired you guys to do this. Yeah, right okay. where we could cash out or check. I'd imagine. Yeah. So. <laughs> You guys make your way for it. You're you see as like you can you can feel all your hair standing on end as you kind of approach this place per usual. You know it to be like 
it's practically like a magical warhead just waiting to go off. It is filled to the brim with all kinds of magical artifacts, some boxed up, others haphazardly tossed out, ranging from the mundane, you know, countless rings of protection or even even potions of healing to what's rumored to be a, like into just insanely powerful. Like there's rumors that there's a luck blade somewhere there. There's also like or like a wish blade. I think that's what it's called. Like a luck blade somewhere in there. Is there like background the- magic radiation? Can it turn you sterile? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, Booker, especially you feel your little nuts shrivel up, you know? <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so yeah. You guys make your way inside. There's like a small moment where it's like there's a small moment to kind of done like and check in. I it's like a little lobby, you know. They did their best to kind of spruce it up a little bit. They got little like little. There's a magical harp sitting next to you guys that's like playing some like <laughs> play some music kind of as you guys sit down and wait. And eventually, and like uh, and eventually you, you hear the sound of like a staff hitting the ground, like a staff hitting the ground and footsteps following it before a person show before um, the the famed magister shade appears, you know. Or you guys. Mm. Hello. He's, He's so hot. <laughs> ah, fuck. My loyalty. Oh, hot. Time, Did you draw that squid? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Single? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. It's not single. Go ahead. <laughs> By the way, can we have the orbum just double checking? Do you guys think? I'm pretty sure we do. The unicorn has the orb. We would have doubled back and talked about that, I'm pretty confident, but we're a little along the line. I want to I want to clarify the magical orb they were talking about. It was it's ambiguous. You have like you have three options. Ah. You could you could have given him the one that always that's stuck in Ozai's eye. You could give him the one that's um, the crystal orb, you can use Sage as artifact. It's up to you guys what you guys would want to bring. I think Ozai's eye, because we he, he like popped it out, right? And he like showed it off to everyone. <laughs> would we have just collected it and be like, all right, fine, we'll just take it. No more eye for you. I didn't think you were using it either, Ozai. Ozai's... Yeah. Because I imagine we would have gotten something to turn this quest in. We would have. We would have gotten. I. I remember. I remember the. Uh, the. The people. I don't remember the orb. I. W- I would have tried to convince someone to give us something. Uh, for the orb thing. So I forgot about the orb. No, that's Seishita's best friend. You leave it alone. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I got one too. I also have one technically. What is it? Uh, Booker kind of like reaches into his pocket. He's going to pull out his his ionic. His ionic stone that he got uh, from Mr. Morton Tiny just kind of tosses it up in the air. He's like, I got it. You see it. Okay, All right. He like, just tosses it towards you. He catches, like, you know, like the gnarled hand that's in his staff that kind of catches it. And some blue lights emanate from it. It's just a simple detect mad or a simple identify spell that's cast on like a moment's notice. He closes his eyes and just mumbles. I understand an absorption. Another one of the time. You've done well. Truthfully, I thought there would have been something more that originated from that region. However, if this is all that is to be found, then so be it. You've done well. I mean, we got the prisoners that you wanted to, and I kick the back of the carriage. I'm like, hey, freeloaders! <laughs> <laughs> they come out. <laughs> yeah, you, they kind of shuffle out. Are they? Sh- do you guys shackle them back up? Like, <laughs> yeah, they would have been. Oh yeah, we got to we got to look professional. Insisting that they've been shackled the whole fucking time. <laughs> if they if they come if they try to come out unshackled, I'm gonna shove them back in, walk in myself, and they're gonna hear like a lot of clambering. I'm gonna put shackles on them and then walk out. <laughs> like Nesnar kind of Nesnar like he's like he's like grumbling. He's like, People to hide. He's like hi, and then I like shove them back in. They like put shackles on them and take them back out. <laughs> You could have told, like, told me to put it back on. I would have done so. <laughs> no problem when I unbut- when I shackled myself before. I don't. It's think called that. professionalism. I like shake him a little bit. He's <laughs> <laughs> just like he's just rolling his eyes. He's just oh, professionalism. My ass. How professional can he get over the hostage exchange? Oh, Azula. Fancy seeing you again. Yes, huh? It's been some time. I'm quite surprised to see you out of that 
form, as we called it before. Yes, well, your amulet did wonders, of course. Shame that I wasn't able to pay it back. I'm sure we can let bygones be bygones, right? No. No, we cannot. Away with you. And kind of like, and like he shakes it, and like he shakes his like kind of like a, um, the staff that he has again, and kind of like, um, uh, you see both of like their like both of their eyes just go like white, milky white, as if some kind of um, a spell was cast over them. And like with that, they cut, they walk away into like a different room, or, like into through a different door, and begin to leave. Unless unless you guys, are, unless anyone has any objections to that. Um, I mean, like he's our boss. I just kind of like dust off my hands and go, wow. That's that's the boss man right there. Uh, <laughs> they weren't they weren't the mo- they they were pretty all right. No, I know Nezna. He's he got his left hand. harmless, I would call it. Just you have to chain him down, quite literally, or else you won't get him to do anything, including paying back debts. We um we fixed up his his, his amulet a little bit. I tell, how did you do that? That is something I was curious about. Again, uh, I, I did well, to there was this something head. back. Uh, there was something back at the um, what was it called? Guys, Wave Echo Cave. Mm-hmm. There yeah. was something back there, but uh, then then this like goose guy showed up and he fucking melted people right in front of us. That made us leave. Yeah. Uh, so it's probably back there. Um, we were pretty close. Did to find that the, though? The big gold tree sprouted up and gave us some complications, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. Oh, complications. There's been them all across the region, you know. We've lost we've lost all communication with our order in Baldur's Gates. It's safe to assume that well something has happened down south. Got some other stuff though. Got um lots of gold and other things. Uh stuff like that. You see him, like he cracks a, he cracks a smile, his wise eyes just kind of staring through you. He's like, you've done well. I knew which was the perfect decision to send you all out out there. And I am grateful, yes, very grateful that you do not prove me wrong. Particularly oh, wow. you, Booker. You're doing your father proud. I hope you realize that. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I just like, I just like, quickly brushed past it. <laughs> Uh, uh, Vice, who is the dwarf that got his skull caved in? Um, fuck. Dun- like, dungeon got brain dungeon. damage? Dun- yeah, Dungeon is the rock seeker. There's, uh, well, uh, dungeon has got brain damage. I, I, uh, there is no repairing. That <laughs> we left him in Fandle, and I don't know. <laughs> 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 he got fucked up pretty hard and good. He got like captured yeah. by a couple of like goblins and bugbears at one point or another, and then by the time we found them, he was like, oh, don't, 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 and he was freaking out, and he it was a bad time. There was yeah. demons and goblins and elementals, and, and we were like, Ugh. We oh know, my like, god! Ugh. He gives a casual yeah. shrug. He's like, "Well, this is the this is the wing of magical items, not the wing of hospitality. There's not much <laughs> I can do to you there, but <laughs> yeah, we no no love lost, you know." Just wanted to let you know. I mean, luckily we came out uncursed. I don't have a tentacle arm or something, so I'm good. That would be disastrous. You like you like prods you with the you prods you with his weird hand staff. Like Booker like prods you in the chest. It's like <laughs> you certain you you do seem different. I don't know. I took a bath. Ah, that must be it. There's no fleas on you. It's a miraculous sight. Oh, you know, boss, you're right. Yep, there's no fleas on me at all. Well, uh, in the air of maintaining professionalism, the job is done, and I do think that we do have some more mean business to attend to. Indeed. Um, do you have another task for us? Is this business concluded? Is there anything else you would need just to get back on track of, you know? This particular task is, is considered concluded. There's... Let me be frank with you, boys. This whole thing with the trees of creation has caused many different hiccups all throughout our business. Everything is going upside down to be quite to put it to put it bluntly. There's a lot of discussion on what we should do next and how we handle losing entire swaths of cargo across. Well, you've likely seen all the monsters roaming the countryside. We've lost great we've lost a great many deal of transportation alone. 
what we have here is currently what we are limited to, and from it we are opting what to do next. The Duke is pondering this greatly. I've yet to hear back from him, so consider yourselves ah, what is the word? free for the moment. Okay. Ooh, free agents. Job comes up, let us know. Indeed. Your payment uh, and, your payment has described keep all the coin and other items you've procured in addition to this. <laughs> And he like um he holds out like a he has like a bag pretty much it, like he it's it's not it's like it's a he he holds out a bag of holding pretty much. Oh okay. fuck yeah! Uh, I get all uh, that. I'm small. Yeah no 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 you take it you take that yeah yeah. yeah. Take from the goodie <laughs> bag. The six jars of jelly he has and immediately put them in like God. <laughs> oh my <laughs> God that thing is cool. Thank you. Fucking <laughs> Jordan, Jordan, we can put. Billions of gold coins in there, and then open it up on top of so. <laughs> it's such a waste of money. <laughs> Did Jolly get a bag of hoarding? Listen, yes. I'm just nice. so happy. My back feels so much better as he's like shaking all the shit from his one bag into the other. Christ. <laughs> it's so funny. Ah. I'm you think we can fit Shrevel in there? <laughs> what do you say? You think we can fit Shrevel in there? <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I will die if I go in there. Yeah. yeah. He's like fastening the like actual buckle and like making it smaller. Like, Dude, I could probably fit in this bitch. <laughs> what if we stuff someone's head into it? Like, like we don't we don't like someone, we hold their head into it. We're just <laughs> he like, takes the strap, crosses it, and makes it into a backpack, and now the bag of holding just a backpack on him. <laughs> backpack of holding. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, has like a very amused look on his face because it's like he definitely seems like a very stoic individual. But you guys know him to be like he has a sense of humor, so he's looking at you guys with a, with a rather fond regard. He's yeah. like, you know, I regard you all as my students. It's good to see you getting along so nicely. I'll have another job lined up for you within the week. And speaking of weeks, Booker, mm. your father wishes to speak with you. Not oh, now, of course, but oh, that day. Approximately five Adel. days from today. All right. Hey, Shmeevil. Hi. We preemptively talked about that. Yes, we have. Well, I'm out of the loop on this one, huh? <laughs> well, but... Jorlin. That's cool. What's up? Uh... I'm right so like, Tell me what to do. Like, that's... All right. So, I, I'm I'm an illegitimate noble. I'm a bastard. Uh, one of, one of <laughs> He's, <laughs> He's a noble? No what? fucking way. <laughs> no fucking just... way. But trying to like kill off a brother and claim some inheritance or something like are you? Yeah, kind of. My dad makes a battle royale every once okay. in a while. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up! Yeah. Can I get a nail the head here? Is this? <laughs> yep. His uh, his dad's the Duke. That uh, da daddy Duke. That is. Uh... Gotcha. Oh, and uh, we, we, we can we can. Alright, well, we first can, um, you're not allowed to say that part, from evil. We're paid. We're paid up in square. Uh, I need to go do something as well, but I get it. You're you're a nobleman. You got daddy issues. I'm with it. It happens. No, nope, I'm a bastard. Difference. I need you to know right now. Ride or die. Just tell me what to do, and I got you. It just is what it is. You don't got to go through the whole hassle of explaining it if you don't feel up to it. You know, like those stories about like adventurer parties who see a goblin. They're like, "Oh my god, it's so cute and small. Let's abduct him and carry him along." That's exactly what happened, and that's the situation I'm in currently. That sounds kind of fucked. It is kind of fucked. It's a very complicated relationship. We're a party of life. It's like the small, cute halfling. We're going to take him and force him against his will to part travel with us. Like, that's, that's mm -hmm. weird. I don't like And it. that is what's happened to me. I And uh, he just he just kind of follows me around. I pay for my own room and board and everything like that. i just kind of doing my thing. Okay. Well, do you want to, like, cut this, ties? This is, this is more... No, this is more of... I can't. Uh, this is more... I'll be murdered. This is <laughs> this is kind of, um... I mean, you can't. We could do some... We could do some tricky stuff. I'll be murdered just people. letting you know. I look I look like twice. <laughs> 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 He's Like, hey, 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 Booker, buddy. Buddy. Yeah. Listen, listen. Even if the Battle Royale comes, you said that we can have... <gasps> you can bring anyone you wanted, right? Oh shit, oh. it's a fucking party? It's a Don't party? Die. We that can die together. Kinda tough. That's hot. Like, 
That's yeah, actually, yeah. I think we stand a good chance. They're all a bunch of prissy nobodies. We can beat the hell if out of them. If you turn into a fucking bear, you're gonna clown on your fucking noble brother. Exactly. Like, okay, you're gonna Let's go. Come on. You might not even need us. We're here for the support. Get, get <laughs> noble status. Right, on get that noble note, status. Isn't that on, cool? On that note, if I can interject with a, with a simple little thing, I would advise caution. Your, your sibling Samson is dead. Olivia, oh. Olivia assassinated him, but a few days ago. He's uh, hunt. Oh, great! Wonderful. <laughs> I, I um, I have, no I have not been keeping up with the politics in that group, but it yeah. sounds like one of my siblings has gone completely wrong. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't sound. Wow. Good. You just have an assassin sibling who's killing three battle royales. That doesn't sound fun at all. <laughs> like I'll put it out there. I'll put it out there, Booker. You are my favorite contender for the heirs of the Duke. I would. I can't like to wait to be killed in my sleep. That's cool. We'll just take shift sleeping. We got a fucking assassin after. Wow. Right? <laughs> um. Do you want to stick together if that's the case, or do you want to like? Yeah, you... please. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> I, have, I do have an errand I gotta run. If you don't mind coming a little bit out of your way. Oh, uh, as long as you're willing to deal with this, then that's fine. It's in the city. It's cool. It it is what it is. It's not gonna be a real long errand. Plus, so, like so, I, said, by, I feel like. By... Oh, can we go back to the whole killing thing really quickly? What do you mean by like, murdered? Like, like how? Like, like what do you? Was he just like poisoned or something, or was it worse? Like poison. I can show you. If, I can show you if you'd like. No. What do you mean, show me? I would so, like to see. Like, <laughs> so he like he taps his staff. Like so he like taps his staff and like um, I th I think I he just conjures like he conjures like I think it's major illusion to kind of really paint a picture. Like the room kind of changes to like a to like a rather to like a to a rather like noble bedroom and then like you know first like that's laid out like oh it looks really nice right. And then, like, a layer is added. Everything is fucking covered in blood. I mean, just like, is it like, censored? Just the camera turn around and we're just seeing, like, a bunch of blood and organs and guts everywhere? Wow. It wasn't an assassination. He got eviscerated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, on the bed is, like, this emaciated... It's not a skeleton because there's still muscles and, like, chunks of flesh hanging from it and, like, and, you know, and inside of it, but... His innards are outards. There's skin everywhere. It's like okay. It's like, and this is why I don't use my last Booker. name anywhere. Booker, you gotta listen to me. I know I said I'm ride or die, but what the fuck is that? <laughs> I, I I grabbed Jorlin, dude. I don't know what the fuck this is. Dude, I thought we, they were just a bunch of like prissy noblemen. I didn't know they fucking eviscerate each other. What the fuck? The plot the thickens, time I, right? I thought it was going to be like a stupid fencing match like it always is every year. That and is way like, really more <laughs> serious. And they're like, ah ha ha, order, you know, like that, you know. Yeah, <laughs> that is not what usually happens. What the fuck? It would, seem so it, is time, it, it would seem it is time for an impromptu history lesson. Sit down, children, and I shall tell you the tale of what is going on. Uh, About his family tree? Not necessarily. That's not exactly important. Just who is alive and who's hunting everyone else now. Is oh man, oh man. Can you just draw us a graph and then we're good? <laughs> I really am not down for a history lesson. I I also don't want a history lesson under either a graph. I kinda just want you to write down a graph of like this person's dead or this person's alive. <laughs> And then, like, there's one that's, like, really bad, like, underline them, like, three times, so, like, and that's, <laughs> that's cool. A lot of underlining. A very brief description, it's, like, in, stab In target. terms of, like, how much of a stab stab target I am, can oh, you tell me? Sure. Like, like, how bad would this be? Yeah. So, like, he taps his staff again and recasts Major Illusion, and it kind of changes to, like, a little bit of, to, like, a little rung letter, like, you know. There's, like, five different pegs, you, like, you know, and at the top is the Duke. In fact, I'll... Show off it. I've been waiting to do this. I'll show off his little art thingy right now. See, this is what happens when you make your children beat the fuck out of each other. Like, yeah. this is not. This is the Duke in the flesh, the Marquis, the Grand Marquis de Leon. And now this is where you are, dear Booker. And like at the very bottom of the rung is like, is a like fucking Booker. <laughs> it's like an image of Booker. <laughs> wow. That's. <laughs> That's I, mean. That's. I told you I'm a bastard. I'm barely even considered in that. I That's why I don't. Okay. Keep... They just kidnapped me, and they're like, "You're a part of a family, little goblin." And I'm like, "Well, I am a my goblin." Dude, I don't know. That's weird. No, I'm with you. I don't like that. Indeed. Yeah. Directly above you, and directly above you is Roland of the Dwarven Valley. 
Okay. You may you may remember him. He is a dwarg. He is a dwargar that is well versed in machinery. He, he never travels alone, even if he is alone, if that makes sense. He has his own machinations that follow him around. Weirdo drives around a big mech. Indeed. The next is Count Charlemagne, indirectly above him. He is a Yuan-Ti, and I have not interacted much with him. However, I know that he is a fearsome caster, as well as a paladin of sorts. Not to be underestimated, though. He has the power to, he has the power to travel on his alone, son, though. He is Captain inviting me to dinner. Yes, he's quite fun, but he's quite fond of his two pet wolves. We got three, so fucking <laughs> three. And lastly, the peg between you, the peg between him and the Duke. Oliver de Vienne. His supposed shadow. There is not much I know about him. He is a changeling and is constantly, constantly maneuvering throughout the city. He is exactly that, the shadow of the Duke. He is supposed next in line for ages, though he has gone quite rogue, I would call it, to which even the Duke is displeased with his mm -hmm. action. But I suspect that's... not even not even he can do anything about that. Yeah, that's probably a guy who's eviscerating people. If I'm up with my money on it, that guy is... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. He, look, he looks like a devious sort. He's a dubious guy. A dubious little creature, if you will. Like getting into mischief. <laughs> I thought, again, I just, I figured what we'd do is we'd all get together and we'd just be fencing people. I, I was gonna, I was making a joke when I said it was a brutal death match. I didn't know it was actually going to turn into one. Make no mistake, make no mistake. Roland has no ill will towards his brothers and likely sees this still as a jolly, far, jolly fencing match, but... <laughs> I'm not the only one who knows about the brutal murder of our other sibling. <laughs> I haven't been able to get into contact with you. Olivia has done it has done this intentionally. Oh. It is only because you it is only because you have just arrived that we are able to speak. Otherwise there likely would have been complications along the way. If the other siblings are your competition, why not just let him assassinate your other competition and then deal Charlie, with Charlie, that's fucked you? up. I don't you're like. Gonna, I might not know have to them. Kill them but... anyway. If they're gonna have to fucking get in, they're gonna get in. The no, room. it's like, normally ah. not like that. It's normally like just I go in, they punch me in the face, I go down, and I just I don't even care most of the time. I, I I've had to do this like basically every year. Um, oh, yeah. oh, gotcha. This so time I thought I might actually put up a fight though, because everyone else was always cheating. I had no one else to be there with me. Cause I didn't so say this anything guy anymore. is taking it like they'll never fight back if they're fucking dead. Like yeah, he's just, just fucking wow. murdering people. Okay, <laughs> that's, that's not exactly what it's supposed to go like, down. Cool. It was supposed to just be like a. I guess it's still kind of fucked up because you're pitting your kids against each other in one big competition to see who goes <laughs> above this rung, like this rung. But like you know, like. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's not usually a murder thing. Yeah, my dad hit me when I was a kid, and he sounds like a better person than your dad. <laughs> I mean, yeah, honestly, <laughs> I think like, so. I, my pops never put me in gladiatorial combat with anybody, so I mean, I've I don't think I've ever heard of this happening to any other family. <laughs> Yours is a unique status, I would put it. If it's the uh, Duke, then. Of course. I'm I'm assuming I'm just gonna we're just gonna go on with it then? Like not not nothing's gonna like what? I mean like, we could go into like the scene of the crime and investigate eventually, but like I doubt that there'll be anything to investigate by that point. Or if there is anything, it's like, oh no. There's brains on all these walls. Like what do we do? You know what I mean? Like there's no we're that, not gonna no really gain enemy. anything out of a massacre. Uh, you ask me to know okay. thy enemy is a good point. Olivia is a changeling. They are experts in espionage and disguise. So likely you will need to keep your circle very close. Gotcha. Perhaps a better well. idea would be to just leave the city for some time. That way, uh, well, we don't have more chances we have for mishaps, business you know? Here, yes, though, I, I think. like that idea. From where, from where did you arrive, I tell? Boat. Uh, port. Ah, yeah. that explains it. So you haven't seen what's beyond the walls? Nope. nope. Monsters are besieging this place. Elementals of all kinds. Mm. So are we stuck are you inside? Are you saying we just sealed our... Oh my god. Nah, not okay. unless by boat. No, not unless by boat. But god then again, oh, where, would we go? where would anyone go? 
if we charter a boat, that's going to be pretty public. I'm letting you all know. They're, they would just follow us onto the boat. Yeah. I mean, like, this can't be permanent. There has to be a way to connect the civilizations, even if it's through fighting our ways out. Like, I, I, mean, I, I, I think, I, I think, I, I think we kill Olivia. <laughs> I think so too. I, th I think that's the permanent solution. Booker, of course, you... but they're a changeling in the middle of a densely populated city. They can just beat anyone. Like, they're, we're not going to know who the fuck they are. Oh, that's fair. Yeah. Ah. Again, I will help you however I can. Expect me to be in touch. You are my favorite, after all, and I am very fond of my pupils. I consider you that. Oh, oh. boy. Yeah. Your father, oh, wished me to, your father wished me to give you this as well. I will speak to him at some point. I forgot where we live, because I haven't been there forever. <laughs> <laughs> where does he live now? His current residence is within Castle Waterdeep. Okay. Yeah, take this. In his hand, and in his hand, he's holding out like a little totem, like a like a like a small little totem. It looks very barren, though. It almost looks like a peg, like a. Hey, can I have that ion stone back, actually? No persuasion. Because <laughs> <laughs> now I want that. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's wood. No. <laughs> I'll get through this. <laughs> I, I like look at him with like really big eyes, and then my 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 yellow teeth glistening in the cave light. <laughs> you, you see him like you see him give like a wry smile as he tosses over the totem to you. He's like, ah, that won't be much. It won't be much use of you. Take this instead. It's much more accustomed to you, as the Duke put it. Fine. I take the totem. I catch it in the air. All right, we're leaving now. I don't want to die. <laughs> Goodbye. Right, there. Bye bye. Bye. Good luck. I need to, like I said, run an errand real quick, and then we'll go to Mordenkind as long as it's cool with you guys. We well, can stay together if you want, because we've apparently got baggage. I would baggage. rather stay together if that's okay. Together like, forever. Mine, like, give me like some space when we get there is all, and then like I'll be out in like five or ten. Oh no, you're uh -huh. totally fine. You do your thing. I just kind of don't want to be alone right now. I hope that's all right. No, that's cool. I get it. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, come on this way. Should we hold all Booker's right. hand? Don't <laughs> hold my fucking hand. And, uh, <laughs> I'm going to try to make my way towards the last known residence of, like, my kid and the ex-wife. Gotcha. Oh. <laughs> You divorced. <laughs> you divorced. You're with more time. You're divorced. You're divorced. You're divorced. You're divorced. You're divorced. You're divorced. <laughs> right, so now I'm We're getting all kinds of lore today. Mm. I'm gonna put you on a random I'm gonna put you in a random spot. Uh let's go oh this that fits. Let's go to Rough Road right here. <laughs> the Rough Road. <laughs> <laughs> also, they're, like they're in a bougie area too. Holy <laughs> shit. And they're up the corner, like Jordan's gonna like kinda like pump the brakes, like use both of his hands and then point over to a bench at the corner and he'll be like, I'll be out in like five or ten minutes if you guys don't mind waiting. Oh, All right, hey. we'll sit right here. All right, thanks. Be right back. I'll feed. I'll feed the pigeons. Yeah. I'll eat the pigeons. <laughs> yeah. Hey, like rolls up to the door, <laughs> takes like a deep ass breath. He's like, "Okay, time to let him down." Hello. He knocks. There's like a. There's a good moment of silence. <laughs> There's a good moment of silence before, um, like a, before, like you know, there's some footsteps, and then someone opens the door. Surprise, surprise! It's your fucking ex-wife. <laughs> hey. Oh, Joran, I. Yeah. Hi. Hey. Uh, didn't mean to bother you. Didn't mean to drop by unannounced. Um, swinging by, end of the world nonsense and all that jazz. Uh, I just. Wanted to drop off a couple of like some cash in case you guys needed it and make sure you guys were okay. Um, how, how's Frodo holding up? Oh, Frodo. Uh, um, there's a very con there's like a very complex, like pained, almost guilty look on her expression. Oh as she shit! Rounds of like, um, are you? I expect you're like very busy right now. I won't bother uh, you with the details, but no, no, I, I got a couple minutes. You're good. Don't don't worry about it. Like it, yeah, you're good. 
I don't know where Frodo is. <gasps> she was swept away. Swept away by what the fucking wind? But where did she go? I wouldn't call it kidnapped, but with someone. I don't know who. Someone kidnapped my fucking daughter? Yes. You've... What? You have got... What happened? Did you report this? Like, is this a newfound development? Where the fuck well, did it happen? Of course I have, but no one's done anything. I've tried my best, but... <sighs> you still got your shit? Throw your shit together. We'll go out and get it right now. I... I can't. You can't? Why not? There's eyes all around, Jorn. Fuck all around. Man. Where did you see her last? Where? Just tell me what happened. I'm sorry, I'm getting worked up. Please tell me what happened. This was... Please, I... Three months ago. Three fucking months? Jesus Christ, Beatrix. Is this... this what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I'd be mad too. What the fuck is this? Three months? You're supposed to be the responsible one! I have been searching for her as much as I can. And I don't doubt that. I, you're a it's wonderful parent. You're a wonderful mother. I don't doubt that, but please understand. This is yeah. incredibly stressful. This is... Okay, where did this happen and how did this happen? Are there any leads? Is there anything that we can do? Are the authorities doing anything about it whatsoever? Like, you have got to elaborate and you've got to do this quickly. Because I'm getting progressively more and more frustrated. Let me lay out everything for you. The City Watch has done nothing. The Magisters have also fucking done nothing. I suppose I, they might even be in on it with how much everyone I've gone to has just done nothing. Hell, I'm... I'm days away from going to Blackstaff herself and seeing if she can make sense of this. I don't understand. I don't. She was whisked away when she was whisked away right here in my own home. And now she's gone and I don't know where she is and nobody will okay, fucking help okay, me. Okay, I okay, followed okay. every lead that I could and it's all turned up nothing. I'm sorry for shouting. We're good. We're going to find out what happened, okay? Come here. Listen, oh. <laughs> so it happened. It happened in the home. Did it happen overnight? Did it? Was it like? Was did it like they just come in in the middle of the night and sweep off with her or something? I was gone for the day. I was within the markets, peddling my ass. She was here staying home. It was a holiday. I thought she'd want to come with, but she insisted on staying behind. And. One thing led to another, and I went on my own, and when I returned, she was gone. Nothing was upturned, nothing was broken, nothing okay. was moved. She was gone. Do you know if she had any items on her? Do you know if she is carry possibly carrying anything with her at the time? Maybe she had her backpack from her studies and stuff like that? Like, I don't know anything. Rabbit's foot. Her lucky she, rabbit's foot. Her lucky she, rabbit's foot. That's she huge. never left home without it. Okay. It's not okay. Here. Understood. That's good. We have something. We can. We have something we can trace. Something we can track. I know some some very some people who I've met in my journeys. They can help us try to track them down. Hopefully, we can. We we will find her. That's that's. It's gonna happen. Okay. <sighs> okay. 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 You so arriving little... here is the only hope that I have seen in what feels like weeks. <laughs> You've had a pretty shitty couple weeks, haven't you? She gives a wry smile. <sighs> Quiet. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You want to come with and figure this shit out? Or you want to chill? You've done a lot so far. I get it if you do. Why don't you come back tomorrow? I'll be able to have wrapped up some more information and we can go over it together. But for Jaren's now, I'm... gonna like dig into the bag and he's gonna take a hundred platinum pieces and then throw it over to her. Get yourself self ready. She catches it and is like, Looks inside as this is just get your shit together. Do what you gotta do. We're getting her back, alright? Get all the shit that you're smart as fuck. Get your shit you need to get out of here. You're a former guardsman. You know the shit that we need here. Like 
what's the proper procedure to stuff like this, like how a procedure like this would go through. Like, you got this shit. I will see you tomorrow at this time. What time is it right now? Four o'clock. I will see you tomorrow at four o'clock right here. And we were going to leave and we are going to find her. OK. All right. All right. You you got this. All right. You got this. Be safe. Be fast. We got this. All right. We're going to find her. No problem. <sighs> okay. If something happens and I can't meet you here, meet me at the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> so first and foremost, what does that mean? That is cryptic as fuck. Like, why would something happen? Like, what, what are you getting into right now? You don't. Everyone knows what the, what the, what the Hanging Gardens of Babylon are. Is... Oh, oh, you're done. Oh. <laughs> what? Look, I'll be quite honest. I suspect there's something far deeper to this than I know. I'm a me I'm a former member of the City Watch, and likely my own daughter. If she was kidnapped, there would be people, my friends, my allies, my old comrades that would be up at arms to help me look. But no one's oh. doing anything. No one's done anything. Okay. That points to corruption. I mentioned there are eyes on me. Okay. Okay. This goes okay, deep. Okay. There, realistically speaking, might not be many places for us to spend that gold. I have a couple of companions and a couple of places we can go where we get you outfitted with new weapons and armor if you need it. Oh. So if you're not comfortable spending that gold right now, I don't want to risk the chance of us leaving and then coming back and you're not here or you're not at the gardens or whatever. Do you just want to go right now and we'll outfit you later on? Because we don't have to do that shit. Give me five minutes and I'll be ready. Take your time. Get your shit. You want me to come in or do you want me to wait out here? There's nothing in here for you. I'll be right out. All right, take your time. She just and she rushes back into the house, not even bothering to close the door. Mm -hmm. We wait a real time, five minutes. Let's go. <laughs> it's so real. Five minutes in and out. Rick and Morty adventure. <laughs> She's like fucking da 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 Yeah, and then like she kind of- Can we, can, can 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 we have like, like the toaster rumbling? Can we have like realistic noises? Can we have Jorlin like making uh, dad sounds? Just like- Ew! That's standing there like absolutely seething in, in rage right now. Like kind of like oh, a hands in his pockets like looking straight down at the ground like just- Hundred thoughts going through his head at a time, like he's about to fucking blow his head off. Right, he's now. gonna and blow off. Oh no! Can we, can can we, what do we mean? She will see from a distance. Walk, you know what I mean? But like, what does this look like from a distance? He's just looking down angrily. Oh boy. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I like. I like. Look over. I try to get your attention. I'm like waving at you. I'm like, like, whoop. <laughs> just a little wave. Doesn't even notice. He's probably facing the opposite direction. Like waiting. Oh for no. Schmeevil, do you think he's all right? No, he's uh, he's pretty mad. I think maybe she said she's pregnant or something, and he's like secretly upset about it. <laughs> maybe there's like a second contender here. Schmeevil, I don't want to hear any of the words that are coming out of your mouth anymore. <laughs> okay. So, so what are you <laughs> hmm, I want so, pulling away from the peanut now. <laughs> <laughs> The so peanut like, gallery. <laughs> yeah, shut the fuck up, peanuts. That is okay. what we are. <laughs> so, so after a moment, like after a moment, you know, the sound of her footsteps come running back. She's this time she's armored in what you used to recognize as her city guard armor. However, like this happens a lot. This it's obviously has happened a long time ago, where all the insignias and various and various pieces have been just like kind of woven out of it, so that way it looks you know it looks like just like a regular a regular suit of studded leather armor, pretty much. Like to just like you know to kind of symbolize that she's left it. She's left it long ago. On her side is like a on her side is a hefty sack, and at her and at her side is a short sword. And she's all she's seemingly all gathered to go pretty much. As she's running down, Jordan goes, "Throw me the money, I'll trade you." He tosses it, and then he throws the plus two shield over to her. She catches it like almost perfectly, and kind of balancing is like balancing it, Robust. symbolizing Robust. that like like age and like age does not weather down her instincts in the slightest. Let's get the fuck out of here. Do you? I got a couple of people I was traveling with up the corner. I'm gonna go meet up with them real quick. You coming? Yes. All right. 
Yo, oh boy. Guys. Guys, Hi. All right. real quick, real quick, all serious, super serious. You remember that ride yes. or die thing I was telling you about, Booker? Yup, ride or die. Someone ride stole my die. daughter. We need to get her back. We're going to fucking fuck kill them. Let's go. The fucking ex gods is looking at them like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I love I them so much. By the way, uh... Beatrix, Booker, Booker, Beatrix, Beatrix, Hi. Evil Beatrix. Hi! Spiegel, don't uh. be weird. <laughs> okay. Oh. I'll do it um, later. <laughs> my name is Beatrix Amberbelly. It's... I don't know if it's pleasure or not to meet you yet, but I'll decide that for myself. If Joran trusts you, then mm -hmm. I trust you as well. Yeah. Bye. We have to head up to Mordenkainen's now. We have what? another, as he's like pacing backwards, like walking towards the direction he needs to go. We have I'm another sorry, person. Bruce. We met up with a spellcaster. They have a, a pretty, they have a, oh man, I'm trying to remember this. As the like orb. I said, they're like making their way pretty quickly. Yeah, me and Baldi are friends. I'm sorry, wait. Modern Kynan? Yeah, hey, I'm fr yeah, I'm friends with him. He's my he's my best pal. I call him Bald every day. <laughs> what have you been up to? Uh, you'd be surprised. Not with that kind of power, you can locate her instantly. What are we doing here? That Let's is go. Exactly Let's why we're going go. right there now. We're, we're going, and knowing our friends, they've probably contracted us into something we don't want to do. This is perfect coverage <laughs> for us to get something that we want. Yeah, and I'm not doing That's any true. of that until my daughter is. We're, ta so. we're taking their perfectly uh, selfless act and turning it into an act of selfishness. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, that, that's our job. That, that's what we do. Yep. Oh my fucking yep. god, I hate you guys so much. A great balance, and I like will shove it off down the street. Uh, hey. <laughs> so, as you get, so as the party moves to reunite, I want to pose a question. We can continue here, or we can call it and pick back up with the party reuniting. It's up to you guys. Please, please. please. I'm down for continuing for at least thirty more minutes. I'm, I'd be okay with it. <laughs> I, I want to continue too. But <laughs> yeah, you guys are gonna continue, don't you guys? Uh, yeah. Any objections? I think that's easier. Any objection yeah. to continue there? Nope. Seems everyone's okay. Alrighty. Let the let the parties converge at the house of Morden Kaiden, the magnificent mage. Is this All right, I think. Uh, I'm going through yeah, this is. I yeah, I yeah. think so too. Uh, I kicked the door down. <laughs> oh my god, you guys! Like, so this door, unlike all the other doors you've met before, it's yeah, it's fucking arcane. Oh, like, you kick no. it back. Like, oh, you kick it back. You feel like you feel something pop as like the same force as the back. You dislocated your fucking leg. Like, congratulations. Do I do I just like fly twenty feet into <laughs> yeah. the air, like just yeah. away back into the road? Oh, <laughs> like, you're like, loud. Right? Yeah, you're loud. <laughs> I think we oh, all. God. What the nugget? What the fuck is that? What's that you? Open! 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 We're looking at the camera lot, like... Hello! Hey, hey, we're coming in. Excuse me, excuse me. Oh, hey! Whoa, what's the hurry? Whoa! Whoa, guys! I, like, I, I, like, crawl into the building. I'm, like, putting my... Like, just popping my leg back. I'm like, oh my god, hello! Where the fuck is Morton Kaiden? He's right over there. He's... He's... All right. Let's go. Wait, what? Guys, whoa! They're in the meeting! Wait, guys! I down. <laughs> I get this door now. Just walk over. <laughs> you don't like. You don't lose. You don't like fucking dislocate your leg again. But it's still locked. Like it, it's like it's arcane. Oh, uh, <laughs> it's my... <laughs> get out of the room. Okay, okay. Runs up to no, him. You... Like she looks like she's I... been crying. Please, hey, please wait. What? They made hey. you cry. No, it's not oh, like. No, 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 it's not like that. No, guys, it's not like no, that. Open this fucking it's, door. No, guys, it's not like that. God, oh my god. <laughs> I'm like, I'm bashing at it. Open the door. Guys, just. The dragon uh, <laughs> Uh, oh, oh my god, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Just open the door Everyone, and we'll stop, explain. Stop, 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 stop. Okay. Thank okay. you. What is, are you okay? Open the door. Is someone chasing you? Are you dying? No, we're, yes. we, no but my daughter is missing and your I'm taking, daughter you have a, missing. Your daughter I'm is taking missing? my favorite Morning Kynan's gonna find out where that bitch is and then he doesn't owe me a goddamn thing and then I'm gonna go find her. That's that's how it is. I, I already know you guys have done something wild here. You always do. 
And I got a bone to pick with whoever made Mary Lilith cry. That's fucked up. No, it's not. Uh, it's, it's, no one made her yeah, cry. It's too. just. Uh, it's just a lot of emotion. Just that's hey. it. Just yeah, open the I'm door then. Eight right now, I'm angry. Open the door. <laughs> okay. No, get just open this... the door. Wait. What? Okay. This I don't know if this is something my master should be dealing with. Vice is this something that Mordecai should be dealing with, or should Nugget try to handle it himself? I mean, he'll hear him out. I mean, like, what's the worst that could happen? <laughs> what's right? the worst <laughs> that can happen? <laughs> Quote. Just an angry bugbear, an angry halfling, and an <laughs> angry gnome. <laughs> 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 Jordan, what he did is he would have insisted we grab one of um, what is it, Frodo's personal items, so that he could scry on it as well. By the way. Oh wait. Perfect. Well, yeah, I'll note that down. Scrying orb. Yeah. yeah, but Mordecai is like Giga well, I mean, Brain, yeah. you know? Yeah. Like, I mean, he's a Giga Chad. Yeah. Wait, so, okay. I know how to get him to open the door. <laughs> I, I'll yeah. open. I'll open. I'll open the door. Just okay. walk in. No screaming. Okay. 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 Chase, oh, you wanna I you wanna go check on Ozai? No. Yep. Screaming. He uh, Nugget opens the door. Go <laughs> <Charlie, laughs> to the park. Oh, scream! <laughs> <laughs> you guys are like met with like the same scene that I described before. You know, a bunch of really powerful people. Blah 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 blah. Right, 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 right. Like, fuck. What the fuck? Hey, Baldy, how you doing? Number one, I don't give a fuck who's at this table. Number one, uh, you owe us a favor, right? And my daughter was kidnapped a couple months ago. I need you to find her. I just found out about yep. this. That's that's the favor I'm yep. catching. Yep. Boom, done. Very easy, right? Yep. You're... We'll help you with whatever they agreed to help you with if you do this. Done. Otherwise, we don't. Done. Yep. All right, then. Done deal. That's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Amazing. <laughs> Great. <laughs> God, Booker, if they if they like secretly sold our souls, Baldy over here, I'm, I'm gonna be really mad with that. <laughs> I will be too, but we'll be dead. And... <laughs> as long as you find her. I'll share. I'll share him again. Yeah. Like an Elminster kind of stands up. He, you know, Marilyn saw him as like a very kind guy, but this time he was like yeah. definitely a like, more serious, like, like a more serious expression. It's like, ooh, you mentioned your daughter was kidnapped. Yeah. Ah. Uh, oh shit! That's the Elminster. <laughs> Wait, hold yeah, on. Yeah, I, I Oh, like he's him. he's like, he's a very Sue wizard dude. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah I he... have no idea who you are. Oh uh, shit! Like, <laughs> out of character. He's... I would like you to find my daughter now. Here's a personal item of hers that helps. I've been reading these fucking spell books. I know that that would help. Please help me. Is the only thing I'm asking of you guys. Let's see what we can do. Put it on the table. Boom! Right there, and he takes out this like teddy bear that she has, and he puts oh. it on the table. Oh. I just, I just oh. very inappropriately burped during the scene. But I think it's funny and in character. <laughs> so you plop it down. So like you plop it down, and then like Morden. So then Morden kind of stands. It's like Morden kind of stands up. You know what divination magic is? He like he's like something that he's mastered o over pretty much. And divination is exactly what would come in candy over here. From a flick of his wrist procures a crystal ball as he kind of stares into it. A beam of light shines and shines out and narrows its focus down onto the teddy bear as he kind of peers into it. The crystal ball begins to come begins like in like a mur like it grows murky pretty much before growing lighter and a scene is in like a a kind of scene is like a, is plastered up. Some like um it's difficult to tell. It's somewhat muddled, but it's this it's this royal palace looking esque hall, pretty much. Almost like a bedroom. It's on it's you can't you can't quite to see, you can't quite discern where it is, but you know you know the general location pretty much. And in fact you're able to you're so I imagine like I imagine Joran's like right up kind of staring at this, right? Yeah. As close as you can get. Yes. As much Ro detail as you could possibly get out of it. Yeah. Um you need to find the proper skill. To recall a location, like to recall like a location, what would this be? Do you guys think? I'm thinking possibly nature or history. I can make like, the history check. It's not very high. Okay. Both the yeah. Same. I mean, like if everyone's helping, then it's a raw ass plus one. <clears throat> we got ourselves a we got ourselves a really smart bard. Yes. Yes. So this can. So the thing is. And so the thing is because what like it's like it's overlooking this place. You can see details. Oh, squid, real important. So yeah. that's like you can see like you can see like details of an environment. Oh. That's why I want to get like a party roll to see if anyone can kind of recognize where this location could be. Okay. We got some important rolls, so those are yuck. some pretty okay ones. They're two yucky, D10, but like two D twenty, right? Yeah, two D twenty. 
They they um they're individual rolls. Don't don't worry about it. Yeah, but they're two d ten rolls you rolled. Yeah, you need to roll. Yeah, two, you need to roll d twenty squares. I'm sorry. <laughs> <There> you <laughs> <go>. <laughs> that's 2D oh, um, yeah, oh, those eight. are pretty good. Those mm -hmm. are pretty good, actually. Okay. Um, I also have I'll a take, I'll, I can give you... I can smack I'll take a look, head. but boost up Jarlin. Does anyone recognize this location? I rolled an 18. I rolled a 16. Uh, where's my history? And then you said, oh, that's not history. Ooh. Actually, so. Ooh, very nice. Mm, very good. What's your bardic at oh. the eight? Uh, oh, yes. right, same bonus. Seven, so sixteen plus seven. That's twenty-five. Twenty-five. That's really wrong. high. That's, that's super high. That's practically uh, twenty-three. Like I'm sorry, twenty-three. Oh, oh shit! 24. Oh, nugget! Holy shit! We're in twenty-one. You nugget, nugget. Do you guys want him to recognize it? I mean, he's offering. It, it yeah, fuck it. Yeah. yeah. Fuck okay, it. So you guys, so you guys all pull together your knowledge. Like even, like even the mages here are kind of discussing and murmuring of trying where to help locate where this could be. And eventually you narrow it down. This location overlooks Mount Waterdeep. So it's somewhere either within the Dock Ward or perhaps within the Castle Ward, a place to close around it. But then Nugget, he looks a little bit closer. This is a little bit higher than everything else. In fact, just a tiny sliver of stone that can, that can be seen from like the corner of the view. It gives it away instantly. This is Peak Top Airy, right beside the Griffin. Nugget's a fourth channel. Where is it? Uh, what's going on? It's right next to the Griffin. Right next to the The Griffin? Do I know where that is, Vice, or no? The Griffin. So, yeah, you know where that is. The Griffin is one of the eight protectors of Waterdeep, and it is at the very top of Mount Waterdeep. The Connect peak. The so, yeah. And it's the like peak. a house, a mansion by the Griffin? It's it's an it's a, it's an unknown building. Pretty, oh. like, you know, so, like, you because not it's able to recognize where it is via the I can even take you there. Tiny detail of the Griffin. However, what it is, where like where specifically it is, that's kind of unknown. You just know it's at the very top of Mount Water. Does that make sense? Maybe, how, um... how quickly can you get us to that location as of right now? Uh, he like looks over his vest. Am I allowed to take him? We have details. Or I we, here? we have details we need to discuss. Of, but we will help you, but we need to discuss a very important matter first. Oh, okay. Okay. What might that be? Should I call the rest of them in? Yes. I not. mean, I I guess we did okay. agree payment, so we'll hear it out. What, what's the job? So is the rest of the party kind of joining up to hear these guys out? Ozai, Except for Ozai. Ozai is Ozai. gone, dude. Ozai, Ozai, Ozai disappeared. Fucking peaced out, so, yeah. This is the thing. I have come in here with some haste. I'm hoping, like, you've got a little bit to deliver your spiel. He's so he nods, so he nods, and Morton kind of folds his hands, and like the other, all the others, they kind of sit back in a very grim silence, kind of just like, like the like the same like a this, a different kind of tension hangs in the air, one of like deliberation is like one of deliberations, like currently the world is being plagued by the primordial lords. This is something that all of creation has known. We have seen the vision. Everyone alive, or perhaps even dead, has seen this vision, this declaration of war, and as it would stand. One of your members is related to one of the primordial lords. Yeah, this is fact. Yes. However, there is a separate conflict brewing. Do you know of the Great Balance? No. No. Oh wait, yes, I do. Um, they make weird. They do stupid stuff and try to do things for free, and we don't. That's the Great Balance. <laughs> Moving on, the great, <laughs> balance the great Balance regards the Blood War, an endless conflict between the demons of the Abyss, the devils of the Nine Hells, and the indifferent Sahagwin. Okay. You're going to have to hear me out. I respect you. I appreciate everything. You're going to have to hurry the fuck up, because what did I just say? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. He's like, he, he, like, he, he, his eyebrows furrow for a moment. It's like, we're one side to, Tell me what you one want to say. Were one side to win over the other, it would spell it would spell other destruction for everything. Nothing would here would ever matter. And in short, something has gone wrong. The sides are allying. This is urgent, and the, this is urgent, and our forces are being split. As much as we would love to assist uh, to assist in the of the primordial lords and the trees of creation, this my circle of eight is my circle of eight is united and dedicated to solving this issue. 
we have planned an expedition down to the nine hells to which we will solve this issue ourselves. The greatest mages and warriors assembled here, leaving the issue of creation to you lot. We would like to task you with this. However, however, we understand that you are not, you are nowhere near capable of fighting them. Thus, we shall assist you as best as we can. <laughs> okay. We will boost you, we will mentor you, and we will equip you with we will equip you with the items you need to embark on this journey. Fine. That sounds good. We'll do that as soon as we possibly can. It was a fucking problem we had to deal with in the first place. Everybody was gonna die if not, right? So fine, sounds cool. A any objections? He turns around towards Wait, us. so we're really cool epic ho uh, heroes now? We're gonna right. go kill like, lots of big things, and that's what you tried to agree to? I'm gonna point towards Taki. No, where you don't want to die. <laughs> like yeah? <that. laughs> wow. We don't want to die. We still wanna, wow. don't want to die in general, so it's both, I guess? Alright, cool. So we'll we'll help, I guess. We've been contracted to do this. Lovely. That yep. we, we'll sign it in blood and everything if you want, but you're just gonna have to take our word for it right now. Now, please uh, teleport us away or do what you got to do. I know, you know what I mean. I if we got to run up there, we'll run up there. I'd like to go right now. Oh, okay. also take care of our wolves in the cart, please. Thank you. And whoever made Marilyn cry, don't think I forgot. I still got a bone to pick with you, but only which one of you was it? No which one of you was it? I'm pointing at the, I'm play, I'm, roll, I'm pointing at the mirror. Roll I'm rolling. Roll roll <laughs> don't make this easy. I did that 17. No, that great. Very clearly, the dragon. It's obvious. I point, I po I point at the greasy dragon. I'm like, I can skewer you. I know I can. Screw you. You're, you suck. Skewer and you. I'd oh like God. to see you try, flea bag. You were in you, but then I come over you. here and give me a chance. I'll get him. Hope you feel tough, big man. Real big guy. This is a, a nice fancy this table. Bad... Big fancy people. Picking on, a picking on a tiny, tiny little uh, like the deer person, fucking asshole. Can we, can we? Can yeah. we please go He's and rest? Breath, and like, so, this, so like his mouth opens up as if he's about to unleash a, a, like a bunch of slurs, and then like, like. And then Elminster, he like he looks like he's like uh, like he's inspecting his fingernails, but he does a quiet flick of his finger, and then the mirror just shuts off. <laughs> can I, can, before he shuts it off, can I say the most like most yeah. ritually charged <laughs> thing? I'm Goblin. I want to I want to say the worst Goblin slur I possibly can. Speak your slurs. Speak your slurs. <laughs> what do you guys think? A, what do you guys think a nasty Goblin slur would sound like? Oh, <laughs> I, just, I just pointed at him. I go like. <laughs> <laughs> Eyes light up in offense, his cheeks puff up as he's about to unleash his turn and Elminster just fucking shuts him off. He doesn't give him the satisfaction. <laughs> um, <laughs> Alright, can we... Good guy anyway. yeah. All right, All right, let's, let's go. go. Also, Ozai is not here. I, don't, I think it's a quick in and out mission. Let's just... Okay, where the fuck is Ozai? I don't know. He left. No, no. He just went somewhere. He might be in a tavern or what? Blackstaff. Who fucking well, knows at this point? Yeah. You like a little bit for time here. So you like to need all of your allies here before I send before we send you on your way. Again, I would like to at least boast of the items that you have. At least, uh... at least that. Here, uh, can you do something about this as he shows the fucking rustic fucking katana? He months ago. Finally, the katana. Any fucking guess... like, so yeah, like Morgan kind of squints at it, and then like his eyes, like his eyes widen as he's like, he, he motions quickly and he's like, "Give it here, give it here." Oh, okay. Yeah. Give, gives it to him, like goes forward. He, like he, he looks at it, and he's running his finger on. It, he's like, "This thing has God knows how many demons inside of it." And you're Excuse out here me, using what? it as a glorified what? sword. What? This is a ceiling weapon. What? This is sealed away. God knows how many demons. What the hell have you been doing with this? It was for my granddad. He <sighs> was sealing demons? I didn't know about was... this. <laughs> she doesn't know about this. If you inside her, she does not know about this shit. Wait, but was it, wasn't he called like the... I thought it was a title! <laughs> <laughs> and with that, I would like to call this to a close. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. God. <laughs> Fucking oh my God. stupid. Oh my god, <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> GG, everyone. GG. Okay.